Welcome back, everybody, to episode 12, season two. A <laughs> um, couple things before we get started. We have our first unlock for the first hour. I'm going to look it up, make sure I did this. I might have to explain some of these. I'm going to read them off. It's all good. We're all, you know, we're having, oh, no, this is from, this is why we look. This is why we look. Get your, uh, you know, it was mainly, I was totally fine until Hector said, don't, don't fuck it up. And I really fucked it up. Uh, first one's called Medical Attention. Uh, this will be through the first hour, depending on where this unlocks. We have tier, or for light side, we have tier one is a med pack. <coughs> tier two is a veterinarian kit. Could have used that last time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's dead. Uh, tier oh, three yeah. is. Who's dead? The back oh, door. Hurt. <laughs> Crush. Like a stomped. Uh, not saying you guys might need more Bacta, but God. tier three would be Bacta. Uh, the dark side is Antidote to set. Uh, <clears throat> tier one, tier two is a stim pack. Tier three, cybernetic parts. That could also come in handy. You never know. So with that, I'm gonna start like the clock, hands. and we're gonna get into it. So, wow. Whew, last we left you guys, you were leaving Yavin 4. You have the artifact that you were sent to collect and you were escaping the planet as kind of the Empire was clashing with the mysterious people that were there that kind of follow you when you guys collect these artifacts, the Revenant. And unfortunately, in your escape, a couple things happen. Uh, Bert the Porg, uh, she was lost to us as she was killed by the Gamorian. Uh, the Gamorian who was wearing the Sith armor that Herg had found, which was an unlock, uh, and Korvan was defeated, but not before, landing a very critical blow to Io. And in your kind of effort to get off the planet, you took the time to make sure that she was placed in your back to tank, and she is recovering. But all of you are heading back to the coordinates that you have for the Rebel Alliance. As you're in your different ships, I believe. Kilar, you're on the Yojimbo. Um, Caleb, Herg, Io are on the Indomitable. And Aaron is on the Star Viper. Uh, Kilar, you spent the time kind of reminiscing about your first interactions with Io. And as you kind of had found a trinket that you had found on the far planet of uh, Kura, you kind of take a moment as you sit in the Ojimbo. At this point, it's just you and I'm Archie. Archie. <laughs> uh, so this is kind of the most empty it's been in a long time. Is there anything you do? Just... I guess I'll check my data pad, check the hollow net. It makes you feel a little less alone, I guess. Okay, so as you're looking through the data pad, you're seeing, are you looking for anything particular or just kind of scanning the news? Just scanning the news. There seems to be a big kind of uh, reaction to this incident that's gone down on Spira. It seems like the Empire has needed to step in and kind of maintain control. There's rumors of Rebel Alliance were there and they had committed acts of terrorism and uh, Benasar Fortorn uh, Jr. is rumored to have been killed in this attack. And uh, information is kind of slowly coming out. There's conspiracy theorists talking about it, the rebels and the O's and the Empire, false flag operation, yada, yada, yada. Um, but that's kind of like what the galaxy's talking about at large. I guess that's one way to make an impression. Archie is behind you. He mm -hmm. seems to be kind of wrapped up. Um, mm -hmm. He's kind of pawed on uh, this thing that he had found him kind of chewing on. Mm -hmm. When you come in, when you came into the Ojimbo, he's still kind of like gnawing on it. And it's it's Herg's mm -hmm. uh, bowcaster that seems to be kind of like drenched and wet and still kind of has some like uh, mm -hmm. river moss. Uh, <laughs> but Archie seems to have it. <laughs> recovered it and is chewing on it. Um, with that, we're going to cut to Herg and Caleb. Uh, Caleb, you're flying the ship, but you kind of, you're in hyperspace. So you can get up and walk around. You're not stuck in the pilot's chair. So you guys are on the Indomitable. Io's in the back tank. Is there anything you guys do? 
I'll stand and uh, walk to the tank to see how I was doing. I'm already at the tank, and I want to have checked on IO status. To sure. see exactly where she's at. Uh, I don't know how familiar Herg is or Tagorian will be with back to technology. I don't know how prevalent it is in the galaxy. I don't know. It's very, very, uh, everyone is pretty much familiar with it. It's in a very expensive substance. It's mm. kind of like a miraculous healing mm. liquid. It's kind of like a, you're in it and people will say that like it's a kind of, you're stuck in like a jelly, but it's very like warm, almost kind of like a, a burning sensation. Um, and it heals wounds very quickly. If you've seen Star Wars, it's what they put Luke in after he gets attacked by the Wampa, so it's kind of that clear gelatinous goop. You gotta have a mask on. But you can go ahead, go ahead and do a, a medical, or medicine. Medicine, oh no, okay. All right. Uh, there is uh, a boost in ability in the light sided pool. I'm dark side. <sighs> So that's it, just roll these two? Yeah, uh, no, you're gonna roll that against two purple. Okay. <clears throat> just trying to check the status of my friend. Uh, I guess a failure with two threats. <laughs> yeah, so you're looking at it and <coughs> none of it makes sense to you. It just seems like there's um, kind of like these sensors and readings and stuff, but it all is just complete nonsense. So you have I would no normally state. be very frustrated, but I'm trying to keep a cool head because it's my friend Io, and I see Caleb walking up from mm -hmm. the cockpit area, so yep. I'm kind of just, I'm like. And I, and I see Herg looking over the screen as he finishes. Herg, how is she doing? I don't know. And you were just checking it. Do you not know how to read a back to tank? I know how to read, Caleb. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I'm you a hard time. unfamiliar with this miraculous goo. I am not particularly familiar either. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Please. And I will do the same thing to try and check and see if there's some way I can read her stats. Sure. Uh, you can either use computers or medicine. Oh, I think I should use computers. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you oh, have, you, you have a uh, no. thank you slightly... The, thank you for the choice. ...more uh, experience with technology. Wouldn't have made a difference for me. I'm mm -hmm. stupid at both. So. <laughs> and what am I rolling against? Two purple. And there's currently a boost and an ability in the light side pool. Uh, I'd like to know how she's doing. Let's use both. Okay. Mm. Uh, well, excellent. Okay. Uh, <laughs> three successes, a Jedi moment, and four advantages. Oh, okay. Uh, so <laughs> you you notice that uh, it's definitely doing its job as the readings are indicating that she is responding to the substance very well, um, actually remarkably fast. You kind of notice there's like a slight kind of strange uh, response with the equipment and you just do a little bit of work on it, mm -hmm. kind of solving this, this kind of inconsistency that you see and like the stats show that's even faster now that's responding to the kind of, the, well, there was like an error in like the code. Mm -hmm. So like now it seems like she will be uh, fully out of this, uh, no longer needing to be in the tank relatively shortly. Uh, and you notice that what a lot- What does that mean relatively shortly? Maybe in like an hour or two. Oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the scar uh, that was cut from her face has seemed to be, as you see like this substance, it's like filling in. Uh, the scar, so it looks like there's actually not much, if anything, that's going to be visibly left. However, you do notice that it's indicating that uh, it's unable to regrow back the substance that was her eye. Mm. Uh, overall, she is doing very well. I'd say she will be able to leave the back to tank in maybe one or two hours. There should be no noticeable scar tissue, but the uh, back to tank does not have the ability to grow back her eye, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, you also, in the room with you, as you remember and recall, is your contact on Yavin Chip, who you were carrying around, uh, who you had in your little Shah when you were fighting. Oh, I yeah. forgot Chip was alive. Yes, That's great. well. His body is in the Yojimbo. 
You can check on him, but he doesn't seem to be. What happened? He was punched uh, oh, by right. a empowered individual in what you have learned is like a Sith battle armor. Did Herg make no attempts to try to tend yeah, This to is his all wounds? like moments, like kind of <laughs> after. <laughs> like, moments so, after? So you're on the ship. You know, he's still, I think he was still attached to you. I don't think you maybe took him off, but he's. I will have, when Herg boarded the ship and we went into hyperspace. Sure. The first thing Herg would have done would be to have removed Chip, sure. alive or dead. Sure. And place him, in, and we don't have another back to tank. You do not have back to tank. We can't share back to healing abilities with two beings in one tank. Not, not in the situation that we have. Not even a smaller being. So Herg would have attempted to do what he could have with Chip. Uh, I guess I want to check to see if he's alive. Unfortunately, his small frame has. Oh, I don't even have to roll for it. Okay, great. Great, great. He's just dead. <laughs> the reason this episode. Here's is a question I never thought is. I'd ask. What's the procedure in the Star Wars universe <laughs> when you have a dead body aboard? What typically do we do? Uh, well, you can try and store it somewhere. You can launch it out in the space. I really, you're. I, it's what is. Torians, uh, you recycle them into that instant bread. What is Ray the proper eats. thing to do? I For example, presume, I in presume in Star case, Trek, they get shot out of a torpedo, mm -hmm. a yeah. photon torpedo thing. So as what a, is the proper cultural thing to do? of the Rebel Alliance and yes. heading back to the Rebel base, it's probably good practice to deliver a fallen soldier back to. Does Chip have family? Other contact? You know, you never asked him anything about his personal <laughs> life, so I unfortunately you don't know this information. It's not like I wrote a bunch of it and then you guys knocked was, him out. A bunch, where was but... Chip from? Again, you you know that he's a bim. <laughs> you never really him? asked him anything about him. That's <laughs> really unfortunate because it seemed like he could use the force. But oh, I forgot. Him. I forgot yeah, we had all that time to talk to Chip the bim. <laughs> I'll search Chip's body, okay, to see if I can find a wallet or a Star Wars universe equivalent of a wallet on him, <laughs> uh, a dog tag information <laughs> sure, sure. about, maybe a, a little, a little, for lack of a better term, chip that I can plug into a computer to give me basic information about his he might have, life. He might have a data cylinder. Go and roll. Do, do a perception. I do think it's racist <sighs> to assume that a bin would have a dog tag, but cool. <laughs> uh, I assumed he was in it oh, in the armed forces. I did, I lost it. What am I rolling? Uh, perception. Uh, and it's gonna be two difficulty, two purple. Okay, here we go. One advantage. Okay. <laughs> so a failure with an advantage. So you don't find any sort of... I just, I'm too sad, I guess, it's I'm too just, sad. <laughs> it's, your eyes start to water up a little bit. Uh, you don't find any sort of uh, <clears throat> identification, any sort of dog tags, as it were, because again, he was undercover, as he right. was dealing with these uh, uh, Maybe scavengers. somebody in the Rebel Alliance will know then, because if they were, if, I mean, if he was working with the Alliance, then sure. you, you it do stands to reason that somebody will know who he is. You do find like a strange, seems like he was carrying, not a dog tag, but he had a necklace on, and it had like this strange kind of pendant on it, like it was a necklace. It's small for him, because it's a necklace pendant? for like, like a little, a jewel? like a little charm on this necklace. Can I open it? Will there be a uh, picture inside? No, it's just, just like a piece of metal, it looks like, with engravings on it. How big is it? It's super small, because it's How big is the him. necklace? How big is his neck? His neck is like a little dog size. So. Can I wear it as a bracelet? Sure, sure. I take it. Okay, cool. Mm. Wear it as a bracelet. We're gonna Wait, cut to... Maybe, maybe his family would that want that That might be bag. an identifying marker of some sort. Perhaps this... I guess I would just have to carry the memory of this bim with me. Put it back on his neck. Sure. I'm sorry, Herc. There never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. That is true. I'm going to head back to my quarters because I'm fucking depressed right now. Sure. We're going <clears> to <throat> cut to Aaron Val, who's flying the Star Viper. Again, you're all kind of left <clears throat> Yavin at the same time. Uh, you're alone in your kind of fighter. It doesn't have that much space. It's enough to fit you. Is there anything you do? What's going through your head? Hmm. Um. 
I'm gonna space Google Shoteron. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll. This is a core world. Yes, it is a core. Okay, so go ahead and do a core world. Core world. <clears throat> Sounds like Rick from Walking Dead. Hector. All right, give me the dice. Kim's dead. <laughs> She's not dead. She'll be fine. And, uh, I'll tell you when I see you. <laughs> what am I rolling against? Uh, two. Two perps. Two perps, and there are a none. A but mad couple of perps. Don't need them. One success. Okay. Uh, you remember checking before, and it was talking about how there was a kind of uh, rebellion that was instigated on the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the uh, the ore barons uh, had kind of rebelled, and so did the monarchy uh, against the empire. And they showed up, and the seems like now the empire has it under control. They're reinstating order. Uh, rumors have kind of come out of the conflict that Darth Vader himself had been there on the planet. And uh, it seems like the new families that are being either elevated into positions of baronhood or survived uh, is very few and far between because most of them had sided with the successionists mm -hmm. and were, for the most part, eliminated. Got it. What was the planet? Show Tehran. Show Tehran. With that, is there anything else that anyone wants to do while they're kind of waiting in their ships? Yes. Okay. I want to Kilar. search for the Revenant. Nothing comes up. I'm going to search for the Usurper. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll. Okay. Do a lore on this one. Lore, okay. Mm -mm. I have a rank in lore. Yeah, I do. What's the difficulty? Uh, it's gonna be four. Okay. And there's one in the light side. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna roll with it. Wow. Okay. One success. One Jedi moment. And three threats. Oh. Okay. You just unlocked their whole plan. Ah, <laughs> they just left it on a really crappy site. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the right one. Site. Mm -hmm. This isn't the right one. That's fine. I think I remember. Okay, so you start kind of looking in. You click up the name. There's a lot of words that come are associated with that. Like, there's a lot of crime lords that are like so and so the usurper, and you kind of have to mm -hmm. like weed through it. And it takes you on. You're about to give up. Mm -hmm. When you find a kind of in the depths, if this is Star Wars, this is like the dark net yep. level. And there's like these posts that keep talking about the usurper and that his time has come. And it seems to be kind of this, uh, a lot of um, like revolutionary talk. And from what you can put together, <laughs> this is all in reference reference to Emperor Palpatine. Okay. I want to open the message I got a long time ago from my mom. Okay. And to re help those who may be Yes, uh, she wrote to me to say that my father was dying, which I had a vision of in the Sith Temple. Uh, I am going to respond. And all I'm going to write is, am I too late? Okay. Send. Send. Okay. And then 
as Herg walks off. <clears throat> I'm going to stand by the uh, back to tank for a moment and reach into my pocket and pull out a, a hollow card that I had in the pocket and open that. Where and I see images of my family. And I'll scroll through a few of those. <laughs> and then I want to search something. I want to search to see if there is a current bounty on someone named Lin Juro. Go ahead and roll. Do your underworld on this, which is on the right side. And what am I rolling again? Uh, it's going to be three purple and one setback. I'll take the boost. <clears throat> Two successes and three disadvantages. That's right, you also had disadvantage. I did. Okay. So for your disadvantage, mm -hmm. as your... You don't know for sure, but as you're kind of in the dark net of the hollow net itself, uh, there's always a chance that, and this kind of obscure site that you're at, that you're kind of pinging it, mm -hmm. that there's a chance that it might they can track Indicate that ISP. you've locked in, yeah. right? <clears throat> um, for Caleb, you look, and it seems like there is indeed a bounty placed on this individual, um, and and it's very high. Um, however, kind of the details of why and uh, how much are all restricted to higher level bounty hunters guild. Associates, um, which, as you guys remember, the Bounty Hunters Guild itself kind of had a fracturing of civil war. So the fact that this is still going through them and only focused through them is kind of a strange thing with the proliferation of uh, kind of bounty hunters, uh, the work, right? Mm. But you definitely said that there's a bounty placed, but more information is restricted. Anybody else? Io. It's dark. It's warm. Kind of floating into nothingness. As the synopsis in your, your mind are kind of firing, you think back to uh, you kind of come out of a memory that was your first interaction with Kilara, um, and you're kind of joining of the Ojimbo family. And that's kind of like these images kind of pass and fade. You see a lot of other things that have been on your mind. Um, suddenly you feel a and your body kind of shakes in this nothingness. And your body kind of shakes through it again. And then almost Immediately, the warm kind of enveloping-ness of this kind of nothingness that you're in is expelled as you're kind of pushed out into a cold room. And as your body falls onto metal grating, <laughs> it only accentuates the coldness of where you're in. Uh, slowly, you open your eye. And you are on the Indomitable. Am I still in the tank? No. Uh, around you is Caleb and her. Ayo. Ayo, it's okay. It's all right. Oh my God. You, you were in a back to tank. Oh we God. put you in immediately. What happened? You, you're going to be all right. You've healed almost entirely. Oh Clearly, oh your eye has not oh regenerated. Oh my God. You are safe. Is there a mirror? I, yes. What is it? 
Where, 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 there's one right next to it. It's like 80%. Literally surrounded by mirrors. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> get me one of these damn mirrors. Yeah. As you look, you see that most of what you had definitely felt when it impacted you uh, has healed itself. There is only slight remnants of any sort of scar in itself. The Baghdad done miracles. What does that do? But there is just an empty socket where your eye used to be. They're all I have left. They're all I have left. What is? They're all I have left. Breathe, Io. Breathe. What is all you have left? Caleb, do you know what she's referring to? Go away. We did everything we could. I am sorry. What is all you have left, Ayo? Sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe we should. I'm sorry. Give her some time. Yes. I'm so sorry. Indomitable. Aaron Val's ship. Where, where are my clothes? Where, where, where is that? Here. Where? Your clothes are here. I get up, I just start wandering. Just walking around barefoot. Just, just, Crumpled to the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Everybody <clears throat> leave. Kilara. Aaron. <coughs> Come in. Caleb? Here. I always awake. Is she all right? Uh, somewhat. She has healed very well. Not even a scar, <laughs> except for the loss of her eye, of course. But she is not taking it very well. Well, I mean, it's understandable. Of course. She had two eyes for her whole life, damn it. I just thought you should know that she was all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How close are we to the new rebel base we're headed towards? <clears throat> you will be arriving in like the next 10 minutes. Okay. Just hold on, Io. 
<laughs> is there anything specifically that you do? <clears throat> so as everyone continues to kind of reflect on what you've heard Caleb tell you, Io, <laughs> or about Io, and everything that happened on Yavin 4 in the temple, it's a lot that's kind of going through everyone's minds as collectively you're all summoned <coughs> for the last leg of this trip. But eventually alarms start to go off. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. That you'll be coming out of hyperspace mm -hmm. soon. I'll head back up to the cockpit. Okay. I follow Caleb. After you guys presumably kind of handle all of the equipment, mm -hmm. three ships come out of hyperspace, the Ojimbo, the Indomitable, Star Viper. And in front of you, you see, again, this large rebel cruiser. Mm -hmm. It's a Mon Calamari cruiser, but it yeah. looks slightly different than the one you'd left from. But it's still, kind of, <coughs> there's support ships that are... Uh, trying their best to aid the Alderanian flotilla that had been attacked recently, mm -hmm. and there was just a massive casualties of this small and even smaller population of refugees from Alderaan after its destruction. Um, right away, there's just <clears throat> X-wings that come right next to you. This is a restricted area. Uh, please, uh, ship, uh, provide your identification. I. Uh I'm Captain Kilara Fay of the Ojimbo. We've been working as privateers for the Rebel Alliance under the command of Randall Rupert. Hold for one moment, please. And there's like a pause. And one of the X-Wings immediately kind of slows down and gets behind the Ochimbo. And you notice that its S foils move from a locked to an unlocked position. What's going on? <clears throat> Captain? Her? Did we get security clearance yet? Working on it. What's the holdup? I'm not entirely sure. I bet it has something to do with Randall, that stupid idiot. Oh, almost certainly. <sighs> A few more X-Wings uh, kind of join this flight group. And their S-Foils move from locked to unlocked positions, attack positions, and they all seem to continue <coughs> to kind of be floating around you. Uh, finally, the pilot gets back on. Um, you have clearance. Uh, please follow us in. Uh, do not deviate from this flight path. Um, follow us. I need all three of you guys to do pilot checks. All right. <coughs> Is there such a thing as a co-pilot check? Uh, you can assist. Yeah. Okay. I will assist k -Lef. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm doing my best Chewbacca right now. Cool. Space. I can do it. There we go. What's the difficulty? It's only me two. Okay. Uh, but I'm gonna do a natural uh, <coughs> setback to this. Okay. Because of this heightened sense of there's all these X-wings around me, like now they're- Okay, I'm definitely gonna take a boost from the setback collection the, of dark sideness. Uh, oh yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yeah. Okay, three success. Okay, so despite kind of this <clears throat> Space is a very open part, mm -hmm. but everyone seems to this this closed in flight group has kind of let your maneuverability mm -hmm. kind of shrink, but you focus on their flight path that they've given you. It's gonna be two. Right. And then one extra. And then one uh flight. setback, yeah. <clears throat> you have five oh. boosts in the light side Wow. Points. Let's add another boost for that. To battle that setback. Oh, dang. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> success and a Jedi moment. You flew uh, real good. So fantastic. Now, because a couple things. One, I forgot to add yours uh, to it. No, no, no. no so need. I'm going to take it off uh, Aaron Vowles. So Aaron Vowles is going to be two purple. That's uh, how good of a co-pilot you are. 
Mm-hmm. And you're gonna get because you're just. Aaron, like, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> kind of talking him through. I can see through the windows. And uh, <laughs> in addition to that, you're gonna get an extra uh, green dice because <clears throat> of the triumphant moment from Aaron. You kind of like followed his lead in. Uh, I'm sorry, from Caleb. Yeah. Got it. So it's only gonna be two purple against the app. Yeah, a bunch of dice. But you can still use. <laughs> nope. Okay. So everyone just. <laughs> Kind of getting in flight formation, they fall them in. Uh, you can see that, like the hangar uh, to this small mm-hmm. cruiser, there's a lot of like commotion that you can already see. Yes, I yeah. think it's only fair. One of the rebel pilots says, "Damn, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's pilot like crazy." So you definitely hear that, <laughs> and it's like cut the chatter, but damn, and as you hear like <laughs> cut off, they were like communicating on an open channel. And they shouldn't have been, but <laughs> they had to. They fly you in, and mm-hmm. they kind of all the action <laughs> kind of uh, go away from the Mon Calvin cruiser as you guys come in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Star Viper kind of like lands like a this particular one lands mm-hmm. like a fire spray. So you kind of it's got like these the four kind of wings. So you kind of go up and then mm-hmm. come down. So you're kind of looking up at the ceiling, but you guys are all. Inside this hangar. Okay. I turn to Caleb and I say, I'm going to let Io know that we have arrived. Yes. I'm going to head back, head back to right outside whatever room Io is in mm-hmm. to just sort of be right out and to kind of throw my voice inside without stepping in yeah. and say, Io, we've arrived. Do you need anything? I immediately exit the ship, but I uh, bring Archie. Okay, so Archie comes with you. Yeah. He starts to like drag. You just hear this <laughs> bowcaster oh. kind of like grab. Like... No, Archie, leave it. We'll give that back to Herc soon. It like drops like, it. I just like pet his little head. Um, and you're continuing <laughs> to walk to the. He's following you. He still yeah. has like armor that he has. Uh, as you're heading back to the hangar, there mm-hmm. is the. Deactivated body of K001 <laughs> right. that was you had found in your again. It was like right, a very yeah. hasty moment to get on board the yes. ship. Yes, but his body, I guess, is right, still there. But he could still be reactivated. Um, I uh, I'm gonna try to reactivate him. Sure. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and do uh, computers. Okay. Um, computers. I don't have any ranks in that, but I'm not a dummy. Uh, what's the difficulty? I think that was... <laughs> uh, it's turning back on, so it's going to be two. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to take... Uh, uh, I'll take a boost. <clears throat> Interesting. Uh, one success, one disadvantage. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> so you turn them on, <clears throat> and it's... <clears throat> Oh no, there are intruders on the ship. Uh. I must warn the crew. And he's like slowly getting up and like walking towards like a, a terminal. Cool. Um, must warn the crew. Cool. I, must I warn am the crew. the crew, or at least part of the crew. And he's kind of like walking into the wall and stops. Cool. Pushes the button. Captain Kilara, he starts to call like your data. Cool, player. I'm literally right behind you. There are intruders. They are probably right behind you. Cool. I want to just like grab his head and sure. like beat it against the side of the ship. Sure, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do 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 a, a a brawl. Do a brawl. This will be for something. Yep. Different. What's the difficulty? Uh, two. We'll make okay. it two. I'll take some boosts from the setback collection. Okay. Um, one advantage. Okay, so <laughs> you hit. Uh, right. You can definitely see that you kind of like dent his this kind of the Ooh. elongated head that he has. Not a very bit. durable. Uh, but whatever kind of was malfunctioning right. with him from you turning him on, Captain. Mm-hmm. It's good to see that you are okay. It's good to see that. You're as okay as you've been for a while anyway. We were under attack. I'm I know. assuming everything is fine. Well, fine-ish. Cool. 
I'm looking up what finish means. Okay, but listen to me. <laughs> We're back at the rebel base, but I'm not entirely sure that we're the most welcome. Did you do something to make it that we are not welcome? I don't think so. Then we should be welcome. My thoughts exactly. I'm not sure what's going on, but I need you to- To arm the guns? Well, that might be a little extreme, but that's kind of along the lines of what I was thinking. Just arming the guns. Be, no, 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 don't arm the guns. Just be prepared to arm the guns, if necessary. Understood. Also, I like point to where I like threw the cloak. Oh yeah. Cause I took it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what we were sent to retrieve. <laughs> Keep an eye on it for me. Should I put it in a box? Yes, that is a good idea. So he like goes and he, he there's like a lots of boxes. Yeah. He instantly starts going for the one that he gets put in all the time. <laughs> and he, he puts that in there. That's fair. <laughs> and uh, and he like activates it because there's like a repulsor lift. Do you it's not your mission to deliver this to the Rebel Alliance? It is. He just stares at you. I uh take the box from him. Okay. It's like, a, again, it's like a, on a repulsor yeah. lift, so you can kind of... Yeah, I take it with me. Yeah, okay. And Archie. Okay. And I exit the ship. Okay, so... You're coming down the ramp. Yep. Aaron Val, you are in your Star Viper. <clears throat> You've come through hyperspace. You had a lot of time to be alone with your thoughts. Um, what do you do? I uh, sort of... Hit my buttons that disengage mm -hmm. my cockpit and put me back and mm -hmm. cool. Uh, you have like yeah. the ramp. It's like the ladder that you climbed up to get in it. it kind of comes out of the viper and you can you can get out. Yes. You yeah. Uh, Retie scarf, dramatic clip, collar <laughs> up, and I just beeline away from the ships and okay. away from the crew. Okay. Oh. Away from the. Okay. So. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Anything in particular? I'm just heading to wherever I guess I think we're supposed to go. Sure. I guess I'm kind of double timing. Sure. Okay. Caleb, you're in the Indomitable. You've landed it. You can still, and now that there's a lot of commotion that's going outside the hangar. Again, ships are taking off. There's a lot of troops moving around. But you can still kind of hear these kind of sobs coming from back in the kind of the Indomitable where you have the cargo holding the back of the tank. What do you do? Herg, how is Io doing? No change. If she chooses to remain here, it's fine with me. I will stay as well. You go on ahead and you fill me in later and inform someone that there is a body that somebody in the Alliance needs to come and collect. I will stay on the ship and give you and the captain, and I guess Aaron, any updates, if there are any for Io. Yes, please, and if there is anything at all that I can do, please. Let I'll me let know. you know. And I will exit here. That's true. So you guys kind of all exit your ships at relatively the same time, mm -hmm. so you see that the ramp to the abdominal comes down. Uh, Caleb walks out, Aaron's next to his Star Viper. Um, there seems to be a lot of commotion as a lot of like the flight crew kind of moves out of the way. And you see like a large contingent of strange looking troopers moving towards you. Now they have, you know, like normally Rebel Alliance guys have like those, yeah. like those dome heads, yep. but it's like not as long. It's like very short and comes down. They have like these like horns that kind of come out of the top. They have like, all of them are wearing like masks on the front of their face and they're kind of these like grotesque kind of like weird like demon looking kind of like mouths and stuff and they've got these layered armor and it's just basically like you've never seen this before but they're like heavily mm -hmm. armored like rebel troopers and they all have like insignias of like the rebel alliance is like red um, symbol and they're all like moving towards you heavily armed it looks like and 
There are two people that are not armored in this group. Uh, one is, you remember, as the Red Twilight, who's yes. been kind of assigning you all these missions. Uh, Captain Komnegi. Komnegi, yeah, Komnegi. And then there's another individual you've never seen before. He's like a tall, uh, walks with kind of purpose. Um, the thing that stands out the most is he's kind of got this darkish blue hair that seems to be kind of like, it's, like a, it's not done any sort of like military cut. It's like right. a slightly longer, darker blue hair. And they're all making their way directly to you. But the three of you, uh, this is... Aaron, Caleb, and Kilar are like all relatively close to each other. Okay, so I'm just, I get cut off by whatever this is coming at us because I'm kind of trying to bail. Okay. Oh, okay, you're trying, yeah, you can, you, I mean, there's still, theoretically, you can, you could try and leave. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Captain uh, Herg is staying with Io. She is not doing very well emotionally. He will keep us updated, should either of them require anything. Probably for the best. Guess we should face whatever this is. Yes. Uh, also, Herc wanted me to tell them that Chip's body is on the ship. If someone needs to collect it. He didn't. She, right? Is she. He. Is he? Okay. Oh, the other one was Bert. Was Bert was a she? Bert, Bert the former <laughs> was Bert. a female. Yes. Sorry. He uh, did not make. This point, they right. are like right on you guys. <clears throat> a lot of them, they don't have like their weapons drawn at you, but you mm -hmm. can see that they have them on the ready. Um, and the Twi'lek and this new individual step forward. She starts like, oh good, uh, is that, she looks at the box, is that the, 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 the artifact that, you see you guys are back, I'm assuming everything went well. I mean, that's one interpretation. This is the artifact you were looking for. <clears throat> and it did not go well. The other individual, uh, the unmasked man mm -hmm. with the blue hair, I am Commander Kuromu. I am. Uh, it's unfortunate that you heard this, to hear that you ran into some trouble, but if this is indeed the artifact, he like snaps his fingers and like four of the dudes like pull out guns and kind of like move towards it. We will be taking possession of this now. Um, I will make sure that the credits are transferred immediately. Um, I've also been able to secure a bonus, so you will be paid fifty thousand credits for this mission. It is transferred to you. Just kind of looks over, like one of the guys nods. It's your guys' account right now. Um, with that said, I've been told to do a few things. If you would please come with me. Uh, is this is all of the crew that's survived? This is most of the crew that's able to walk. There are two other members of the crew. One may need medical attention. I see. Would you like me to send someone on board? Yes. He kind of points a few, you hear like them talking, and it looks like a couple of them break off and are moving towards the Indomitable. Also, you should be aware that the contact with whom we met on Yavin 4, he didn't survive. But his body's on board that ship. You say that, and everyone in the group uh, besides uh, the commander they're talking to kind of stops and looks at you and like they kind of just take a step back. <clears throat> you hear him say something in a language that you don't know and they continue to move forward. <coughs> that is most unfortunate. I have it in my records that it was a uh, chip. Is this individual that you were me? Um, well, if you don't mind, we need to do a slight debriefing some things that we need to discuss. Um, as I said, if you would please come with me. As long as you agree to it just being the three of us and let the other crew members get the attention that they need. Go and roll. 
Also, have your boys have their weapons <coughs> set to stun because they're kind of the disagreeable part of the team. The four individuals that were kind of around the box kind of look. There were two that were heading towards the invulnerable. They look back at, again, the man with the blue hair, and he just nods to them slowly, and they put their weapons down, but are moving like kind of towards the indomitable. Uh, it's gonna be three, purple. Okay. Oh, Negotiation. snap! Uh, yes. Great. Uh, Herg. Yes. Heads up. Uh, sending well, two individuals into the I'll ship for medical attention for yeah. uh, Thought uh, you should know. Understood, thank you. I'm gonna take a difficulty. Sure. And I'm gonna take three setbacks. Okay. Cylinders. Four success, five advantage. Yep. <clears throat> Understandable if there are your comrades that are wounded or unable to come, of course. Please, that's why we're sending medical attention. Um, again, I cannot overstate uh, our gratitude for bringing this to us. We understand that it's come to my attention that these things that you've been sent on have been quite dangerous, um, and that is the reason why we need to talk. Please. And he kind of leads. Uh, and as the uh, Red Twi'lek um, Komunegi reaches for the box, she's like, um, first, uh, Commander, uh, they had asked me a while ago to see what we were doing with the artifacts, and I finally have, I have gotten the clearance. I feel like it's, it's, if this is still something that you want to, you'd ask before to see what we were doing with them. We have, this is the research station that we've been working on. Um, do you still desire to see what we've been doing with what you've been bringing back? Yes. Go ahead and roll. Do a charm. Okay. And uh, it's going to be four purple. Well. <laughs> I forgot I got that extra rank in presence. Ah. Which means I actually yeah, rolled like... the wrong thing for the last one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, four purple? Yep. Oh, I'll just take like three setbacks. Sure. Okay. Ooh, six success, one triumph, and a uh, advantage. Okay, so this commander, uh, this commander uh, Kuromu, just kind of glares at um, the Red Twilight uh, Komunegi. And you just see that oh, right off the bat, there is this kind of animosity, silent animosity between the two of them. He is extremely upset. But so this is something that yeah, you were promised before you left. That is correct. We've been putting our lives in danger. I think that we deserve to see exactly what it is we've been putting our lives in danger for. If this is something you were promised, then uh, I am honor bound to show you. So please, um, they're honor bound. We will make a detour first. We will see this, what we've been doing with these artifacts, and then we have a debriefing that we need to go through. Absolutely. Um, so you start to, f they start to kind of move the box as they do. There's like the four around it, but there's like even more tightened security as like they're kind of moving with this box, um, leading farther in the ship. And you, I'm assuming you're following. I'm following guys. him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Caleb I, and Aaron. I fall in line with Caleb. Following as well. Caleb, the, uh, the the personal effects that you were holding for me, so they wouldn't get wet in the river. Ah, oh, yes. The oh, tube God. tube paper. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, go ahead and do a uh, skull <laughs> dugger. Skull <laughs> roll, <laughs> roll for slickness. Is that him or me? Who's uh, skull dugger? That's you. You're the one that's. Slipping <laughs> it, so. He told me to. <laughs> I have yeah, some, no. I have really high, uh, yeah, okay. How was your skull dugging? It's not so good. <laughs> How was your skull dugger? Uh, and uh, what am I rolling against? Uh, it's it going to be three purple dice and a natural uh, setback. So three purple, one black. I yep. Bert, this is really like it kind of takes two to skull dug. <laughs> yes. So I sort of feel like you'd like to. My assist. skull dugging should like. In the skull duggery, yeah. my skull duggery. Uh, <laughs> like maybe my convincing demeanor that removes a difficulty. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You make a convincing argument. You can't forget that old song, Bert. It takes two to skull dug. It, it takes, takes two skull dug. Oh, yes, skull duggery. 
That's not the one I know, but I know another uh, one. Not one down. or three. I'm not going to hey, remove. It takes two to make a skull dark free. I'm not going to remove the setback. Dark free. But I'm going to add a boost. I get a boost. Nice. You get a natural boost. Nice. From the natural nice. boost. Convincing. Oh, and there's God. lots of boosts. And let's take. I don't know what's in these. I'm going to just take three. I don't know what's in them either. As I have no idea what I'm risking. It's important. Mm -hmm. One success with two advantages. Wow. That is a good thing you grabbed that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, is. it is. Yeah, all right. So you guys uh, will play it out for me. Uh, Kayla, the, uh, just, you know, my personal effect you're holding on to, on to for me. Yes, I was wondering when you were going to want them back. Oh, thank you. You know, it's a good tentacle day for you. Tendrils. Oh, sorry. Tendrils, sorry, you just get me flustered. Isn't he handsome? He's so handsome. Are Where, you two done? Are you, talking to? you say it to one of these troopers that like looks over and just stares at the two of you, and then like goes back to what he's. <clears throat> I like the masks. He's, by the way, we're just friends. <laughs> okay, so for now, <laughs> you guys are. I'm uh, working on it. Walking into like the heart of this cruiser. Mm -hmm. um, cut to Herg, who's in the Indomitable. You're just kind of. Uh, I have moved to, again, right outside of Io's room. Sure. Listening in in case she says that she needs something or someone, but I'm not inside the room. Okay. You hear footsteps? Sounds like two pairs of footsteps you were told I that. I moved towards the back of the ship. Okay. Past Chip's body. Okay. And whoever I am going to greet, I'm going to let them know there's Chip's body. Sure. So you see two individuals. Uh, again, this is the first time you're seeing it, but imagine it's basically like uh, the Star Wars equivalent of like samurai armor. So they come yeah. in and they just got like these like you know these masks and these horns and these helmets and stuff, um, and they like walk in and they you can hear them through like their their voice apparatus. We've heard that there is wounded personnel on board and a fallen comrade that we're here to collect. Yes, the body is over there, and. The wounded personnel. Wait. I double back to right outside the room, and I throw my voice in there again, and I say, Io, there's personnel here that can provide medical attention if you wish. Do you require any? So, oh, okay. Um, just the body. So they kind of look, and they were prepared to like pick up maybe like a normal, like basic human-sized body, but they realize that Chip is a small, kind of three and a half foot tall um, dog creature that you let die in your watch, but no big deal, it's fine. And they kind I of- I stop one of them and I say, will someone know where to take this body to? Will someone know if he had family or Oh, uh, we will or... take him to processing and they'll be able to, the burial detail will be able to figure that out. Does the Alliance, do they have that information? Um, depending on how, uh, from my understanding, sir, again, a lot he of... He was undercover. There might be some restrictiveness to his personnel file, but I'm sure that if he was a member of the Alliance, he will be taken care of. <clears throat> Appreciate your concern. And they kind of... Just kind of picks up Chip. He's small enough to kind of like fit in his, and they just they walk out of the abdominal. Before they st and on the way out, I say I kind of yell to them, "He saved my life." They don't say anything. They just kind of look at each other, and then they walk out. <clears throat> Io, is there anything that you do? <laughs> So, Aaron, Caleb, Kilara, you're continuing to follow them through the ship. And as you're moving, uh, again, following this box, you're noticing that there is like, more and more and, like increased <laughs> security as you're moving farther in. I'm going to stop real quick. Oh, <laughs> dang. Um, wow. We ended. There it is. Tier 3 Dark Side. <clears throat> um, with that... Uh, first things first, I'm going to reset this. Thank you. 
Uh, bloop. I'm assuming that was accurate. That was that was right. Perfect. All right. So, Killar, you get like a uh, message mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, to your data pad real quick. Oh, okay. Uh, I read it. Yeah, and it's like a video, and it's uh, K001. Oh. But he looks much much better. Like he doesn't quite have like the the scarring that he has on him. Oh. And it's. Uh, oh, hey, Captain. Uh, if you're getting this message, uh, it's because I logged in there as some sort of injury. So just so you know, I, uh, I took the liberty of buying some stuff and things because your organics are like really fragile and can like break easily, not like us perfect robot killing machines. So there should be like a crate of some stuff. Uh, I don't know, which is called cybernetic parts. So it should be somewhere on the Yojimbo. I hate it though, so maybe if you get this, just play it back to me. I'll be able to find it, I think. But anyways, uh, just cool here, and you know, I'm just really good to be back. I don't know why I said that because I'm saying this message, but I'm recording it now. Uh, but now is like the past, unless you're watching it right now. Anyways, uh, K001 out. And so you got that message. <laughs> you miss him, don't you? I kind of do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, with that, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> start our second round. Well, it's running out of juice anyway. Well, no, it just it needs to be plugged in is the issue. Yeah, well, it's okay. we're just still running out of it, juice. I got it, I got it, I got it. So, our second round is just called Rebel Base. And as you guys have, if you go recall back, there were kind of rumors that you had got from some of the information that you were kind of uh, gathering from just people talking by and all this sort of stuff, that after Yavin they escaped, that we kind of, uh, Rebel Alliance evacuated but there are rumors that they're trying to reset up like a new kind of permanent base location, right? Um, and so there are different planet ideas were kicked around. One that seems to be kind of at the temporary forefront is this planet you may or may not have heard of called Hoth. But the decision isn't been, hasn't been finalized yet. Oh. So what this round will determine is, again, because we live in our pencils and parsecs, uh, timeline <laughs> and uh, our own <coughs> canon. We do what we want. Uh, we do what we want. Um, <laughs> so I have three. I just want to read these off so just people, <clears throat> I had a, well, so people know. Tier one is Dakar, which is if you've seen The Force Awakens, it's where they actually have that resistance base mm, in mm -hmm. Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. Tier two light side is Hoth, if you want to keep it kosher and keep it in a frozen planet, uh, we can have Hoth. Uh, tier three is crate, which is if you've seen mm -hmm. the Last Jedi, it's a, it's more or less hot, but you know it's it's, it's red, so it's, it's salt, it's fine. But with really cool fox creatures. Yes. So yes. Crystal foxes. Crystal foxes. Tauntauns. I'm taking crystal foxes. Uh, for the dark side, mm. this is again just to be clear, this is still setting up the rebel base, but kind of went with some different ideas here. Row one, Udapau, if you remember. Udapau. Oh, yeah. uh, tier two, uh, Felucia. Which is the cool. kind of uh, uh, spory, like uh, it's the place where mm -hmm. it's like the it's like a fungal planet. We're yeah. not going to end up there. It's going to be like bye, Felucia. Yeah. We're not. We're yeah, not get out. Uh, <coughs> and then tier three is uh, Rishi, uh, and if you remember this, it's like a, it's like a planet filled with uh, well, at least in Legends, it's a planet with kind of like the equivalent of Ewoks, mm -hmm. except they're bird people. So like bird people they're that use like mini bow. bird people. No, no, like they're like they're tall. They're tall, but like primitive sense in the sense where like they're technology. Okay. Like the Clone Wars, a big battle spot there, but it's like, cool. basically a planet full of really Tengu. Uh, like Tengu, uh, yeah. Bird persons. Okay. From Rick and Morty. Oh, okay. Uh, except they cool. use spears. Like it's not really staying bows, plugged yeah. in, is it? Uh, sure. With that, uh, hopefully all that makes sense. If so, if anyone joins in, is like, what do these mean? Uh, Wikipedia is your friend, but you'll be able to explain them because it's all about the positive community. Uh, so with that, we're going to start our second round. You've gotten that message. You guys are walking, and you're noticing that it's more and more kind of like intense security uh, as you're moving farther into the ship. So there's not just like personnel, but they have like, like <clears throat> security gate systems, like laser mines that are like set up. It's just like whatever they're leading you to is heavily guarded. Um, and they finally you stop, and these doors open up, and these again these four individuals push kind of hub the hover cart in, and mm -hmm. uh, with that, uh, Captain uh, Komnegi, the mm -hmm. the red twilight, is like, oh please, and she walks in, uh, but uh, Commander uh, Koromu just sits there, he's like, when you're ready. I don't say anything, and I just walk in. I follow. Same. He follows behind you. 
door closes, you see uh, it seems like they have made a huge uh, kind of retrofitted this area of the cruiser uh, where it's they've like knocked down walls to like make it just like a big open spot. It's a huge lab. You're seeing like uh, equipment and there's like personnel in like trench coats that are like examining different things. Um, and it seems to be uh, like a lot of focuses on like these chambers that they have and one chamber uh, is something very small in it that you can't quite see. <laughs> but <laughs> the other chamber that you see uh, clearly has a kind of ex uh, suspended in it uh, a lightsaber. It is the lightsaber that you sold Randall. Um, that we gave to Randall. You gave to Randall. Yeah. You gave to Randall. They had hired you to, to get it to them, and yeah. you, you, you gave him this one. Yeah. This is what you gave. <laughs> we gave them a lightsaber. Uh, you gave him a lightsaber. A lightsaber. You, <laughs> a little bit more specific in your contract. <laughs> um, you also noticed that there is like a, out of the way, oh, out of the way, oh my. And you just hear, uh, stuck in kind of a repulsor chair, mm -hmm. but Dr. Yanuzi, from oh, yeah. Dancing Rain. Uh, seems excited to see you uh, as she moves forward. Oh, this is, you finally decided to stop by. This is so amazing. Please, please, come in. Let me, let me give you the tour. I just, I know we, we it was kind of crazy when we departed last, but yes. welcome, welcome to my lab. Thank you. I didn't know that you were working on this project. Well, there was the slight, you know, hiccup of being stuck on a, you know, <laughs> In a, an imperial base with a ship that crashed into it. It's qu uh, quite a story. Uh, I'll be sure to tell you. But uh, is, is it, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. And you point to like the the box. The box. Uh, she just kind of hovers over towards it, and you just see like this gleam in her eyes. She's ooh, yeah, ooh. And, um, and what is it? It's a a robe. A robe. Most interesting. Yes. A robe, you say. Yes. Anything particular about this robe? Colors? It's black. Black, interesting. Uh, did, did anyone interact with it by chance? I may have. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and roll. Uh, <coughs> you, ooh. You have dice? Okay. You dice? Uh, I have the app on my phone. <laughs> we could have the apps on our phone? Yeah. Yes, you can. Do a skull. How do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> all have our Do a stealth check, actually. Okay, hold on, let me just... I like real dice the best. I Shut have, up, Hector. Um, it takes longer. You want to help? You can grab whatever um, you want from there. Stealth, you said? Yeah. Okay, uh, great. And what's the difficulty? Uh, it's going to be three. You just said that you wore three. it. Three, yeah. Well, I uh, said I may have. Yeah, out loud. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, so it's going to be three. Okay, I'm going to take um, a difficulty. Take and I'm going to take two setbacks. Okay. Specifically. Boom. One success, one threat. Okay. So she says, oh, interesting. And she kind of see briefly that she looks at you like with a look in her eye of like, oh, okay. Uh, and it doesn't seem like anyone else really heard it, mm -hmm. but maybe uh, Koromu did. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. So <clears throat> she's like, please, please, come here, please, come here. And uh, they, she's like, move move it over there, move it there. So like, technicians like swarm the box. Again, like the, the samurai soldiers are a little bit like on edge. They're seeing it, uh, but they like relinquish control over them. Science team immediately just moving it into like a different team. It's like, we gotta like decontaminate it. And you know, of course, you uh, just, uh, please, uh, search, uh, uh, Commander, would you please help them with that? Uh, she's gonna roll real quick. Oh, nice. And like reluctantly, you see that uh, uh, Kurumu kind of moves with his squad to kind of help secure this box. She reaches out and grabs her, your hand. Yes. And pulls you close to mm -hmm. her. Tell me everything that happened quickly. We don't have much time. I, We're all in grave danger. It was grave danger. Anyway, well, 
I heard it when it was, it, we found it, it was in a crate and it was making scratching noises and I don't know, I, I, I put it on, I used it and I felt like, I, I, I felt like I could do, anything that I wanted to happen would happen and I, I used it to murder somebody who had injured oh my. my friend. Oh no, your friend, is who, is who? It's Io. 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 He like takes her and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Is she okay? I mean, she's alive. It's, did she interact with this at all? No. Okay. She wouldn't touch the thing. You put it on and just, did you see anything? Anything at all? Tell me about how you found it. Was it anything similar to on Dantooine? Quickly, girl, It was quickly. just like when we were on Dantooine. It's just like every single time we go to one of these temples or palaces or whatever they are. I always have weird visions of like things that maybe happened in the past. And what of the markings? The markings? Any sort of... Yes, there's every time. There's there's always a, a Togorian and a Miri Allen. And it's always been just a, a human woman before, but this time it was a Mandalorian mask. Oh, most intriguing. And anything of the fourth? All I could make out, it's always been destroyed. It's always been a destroyed pillar, or in this case, it was a scratched up emblem on a doorway, but it was a, it was a droid. That's all I could tell. And it was old. And I don't mean to pry, but are you by chance Mandalorian? Yeah. This is <laughs> most intriguing. Um, quickly, I won't have much time. You see that like they've like secured it in this thing. They're coming back. Oh yes. And so that's the tour, and that's everything. All of those science is super boring. She like leans in really close. <laughs> Don't trust anyone. I will find a way to contact you. Oh, so oh, Commander, that's the tour. Was there any questions you had or any? Any comments or concerns? We don't have a gift shop, huh? But uh, I enjoy company. Your presence, is, it's always so great to see you. Yes, it's lovely to be reunited with you as well. I'm glad that you're reinstated doing good work for the Rebel Alliance. Yes, yes, it's good to do good again. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't think I know who you are. I, I didn't mean to be rude, I just don't remember you at that, all. That was all very boring to me. I just completely sort of zoned out. Yes, yes. He's a keeper. And she kind of like looks at him a little bit and like <laughs> kind of like hovers, hovers away. Like. Um. Commander yes. uh, Kurumu walks back up. Okay. Great. If there's nothing else, please, um, time is of the essence. We yes. have a debriefing that we need to get to. I think we've seen all we need to see here. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Lead the way. Follow me. And he leaves, and his guards kind of like, a few of them walk behind him, and then a few wait for your, kind of, they're still in the lab looking at you. I'm going. Follow. I'm going. Following. And they follow behind you. <clears throat> Cut back to the Indomitable. <coughs> Herg, you're on there. You're kind of, I guess, still kind of waiting in the same area. The the um, the Indomitable or the you're in the uh, Indomitable with with Io. You're still with Io. Is there anything that you want to do? Oh, the okay. Um, While I'm outside the door, I'm going to take a data pad mm. and search on the hollow net mm. for my life mate, Emrys. Okay. Um, you have previously accessed their like kind of rebel battle net. There have been some times when you've been kicked out of it. They've kind of. Do you search like the general hollow net, or you're going to try and go back to like a, the Rebel Alliance's network? The last time I found her, she was on a ship that left, correct? Correct. You were, it was on the Redemption. At least, as far as you know, let me rephrase this. Chip Chubb's uh, info group, said she was on the Redemption. The survivors of the wounded from Kashyyyk were on the Redemption. 
that was a lead that you had. She used to be a former member or a member of still Chip Chubb's group, but that didn't necessarily find any information that itself that implied that she was on that ship. You just know that her group, her comrades were And on that it ship. went to Naboo. It went to Naboo. So I'm gonna search for the redemption. Okay. And to see where it is now, or if it is st still on Naboo, or if it left Naboo. Sure. If that information um, would be there. And like the, the the Rebel Alliances network, or? Would that information be in the general holonet, or no? You, not necessarily. Because it's it's secret Rebel stuff. Correct. I'll try to hack into the Rebel net. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be four. But you're gonna get a natural boost because you've done this before. And I'm using computers? Uh, yes. Great. <clears throat> I'm gonna use one difficulty. You? Yep. And two setback. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Cancels out. Oh, old this school. This takes longer <laughs> to do. <clears throat> Son of a, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's real glad he rolled well. Technically school. a failure, but three advantages. Okay. Um, you search and you realize you kind of actually find the manifest for the redemption. And it's Emres's name does not appear anywhere on their kind of list of people who have been admitted to this medical ship. <sighs> that doesn't necessarily mean she wasn't there, right? The information you have is that she was not publicly admitted within the Correct. Rebel Alliance's Correct. Uh, information. She's a drug addict. She is pretty sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I this love her. This is your wife. That's Let why it. I love her. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything else? I feel like this is a Titanic moment where somebody's coming and telling me like, Jack was never on the manifest. No, he wouldn't be, would he? Yeah. He wouldn't be. He was sexy, that Jack. <laughs> he, won his, he won his ticket via yeah. Remember Emma, card game, so yes, he definitely he wouldn't be on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, Emrest, not Sexy Jack. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to bring some food to Io. Sure. Some food and, and drink. A hot beverage and some uh, the best rations we have on board. Sure. So. Uh, Aaron, Aaron Val keeps it pretty well stocked. Yes, he does. Uh, you, I believe you all know. So like the good shit. Yeah, the so best stuff, food the best wise. Food. Uh, you have actually unlocked a very fancy, oh. very um, kind of high class bread maker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that You're was gonna make this that some bread. That's right. Oh, spirit. And as power. you recall, you know, again, you've only seen it, you don't really know <laughs> what the interaction is, but you've always seen this kind of back and forth between Aaron and Io over bread. And mm -hmm. so you know that it, whatever crosses your mind, maybe it's a comfort I'm like, food, whatever. Uh, she likes bread. Um, bread. And you see, like, it's the equivalent of like that instant one, but it yeah. looks like bomb and not something oh. that you mm. find yeah, not on. Not like, like dirty with yeah, dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like oatmeal that's kind uh, of. Yeah. Oh, this looks bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I take a hot plate of that. Yeah. A hot beverage. Mm -hmm. Walk into the room. And I put it on the table next to Io, and I brought you some food, Io, and something hot to drink. You don't have to eat it or drink it if you don't want to. I'm still here, let me know if you need anything. And I walk outside, just right outside the door so I'm still within earshot. Sure. And I just keep... Keep looking, keep searching. Keep, keep searching. Io, there's a plate of like freshly baked bread. Um, you can the aroma kind of fills the room. Uh, also, uh, a beverage as well. It's been placed there. You've heard that Herx kind of uh, furry feet walk out and leave the room. So you're now there alone. Is there anything that you do? Okay. 
cut back to the command center. And uh, it's kind of like a war briefing room that you're very familiar at this point. It's the very typical. Are those guys that hurt? Uh, the, <laughs> the door opens up. These guys at this point have done so much war business. They look like on top of their game. They are just like briefcases and folders and like data pads. They're like, it was a good meeting. Yes, war business is going very well in this quarter. And they like kind of walk out and they, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. and they, whoosh, and they move past. Uh, Commander Hormu uh, <coughs> just shakes his head. I don't understand what those guys do here. Uh, I he, don't know, but they <laughs> always seem to be here. Uh, and like on different ships. As like, far on as I can yeah. tell, all they do is book meeting rooms. Yep. Yep. Uh, so he walk, he enters in, and he kind of goes straight to you know, like the table that they have, where it's you know you can display information. Please um, take a seat. Hopefully this won't go long, but that really depends on um, I guess. How much you have to share? Kind of uh, motions towards seats. Uh, at this point, like the samurai mm -hmm. soldiers, uh, they move in. A handful right. of them move in, and they like move to like the other door. So mm -hmm. if there's like you guys entered in one door, there's like three more. So or there's two more. Right. Like one at the top of like the amp of the sure. computer, and the other side. And they just kind of go and move in position. So there's two basically on every exit. Okay. Uh, I might feel a little more inclined to share if your buddies here felt a little more inclined to be a bit more welcoming, maybe show their faces. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> okay. Do <a> charm. <laughs> no problemo. What's you the guys can totally lie to me with these with the apps on your phone. I know. <laughs> so many Jedi moments. I got like twelve. What's the difficulty? Um, it's gonna be. Uh, to uh, it's yeah. gonna be. Uh, you're telling them. You're asking right him now. to. Yeah. It's done. Tell his people to. Tell his people to take off their out. mask and like be less aggro. So yes. it's gonna be four purple. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. And one red. One red. Ugh. Okay. Um, I will take a. Difficu uh, a difficulty and a setback. Okay. Rolling a lot of dice. Boom. Oh, what? I got six Jedi moments. No, I didn't. What? Um, but wow. I did just get one disadvantage. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. Dice. You can respect the fact that they are wearing those for reasons. And please ask you to uh, take a seat. We have much to discuss. As I sit down, I... <laughs> Hit a little button on my wrist to activate Rue. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I really should be on the ship with that one. Um, I don't know how complicated I can make Rue do things. Rue, Rue is like your. your it. I just type play me reality music. <laughs> okay. 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 So it activates and. <laughs> Uh, quickly locates uh, where I was at. So now you're in your chamber and you're hearing kind of what goes as contemporary or playlists of random or is there a Yeah. Okay. Random Miri Allen songs. <laughs> yep. Are playing from that from that good old two CD set. Yeah. Of <laughs> Miri Allen, Allen greatest hits. Yeah. That can be yours. Miri Allen and me. Mary, yes. Mary Allen mixtape. Yeah. Mary yeah. Allen mixtape. By Mary <laughs> Allen and me. Yeah. The, the folk group. Yeah, the folk group. Mary Allen folk group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, of course. Three easy payments of five ninety nine. dollars Yeah. Love that. All the hits. So, um, okay. I prefer that definitely novel plays. music. I have a question. Yes, a Mr. Uh, Val. Aaron Val. Very majestic of the Mako Club and... Fifth in command of the Reapers. Oh, good. So you're acknowledging the fact that you are called the Reapers, and this is something you are uh, aware of, yes. Well, I don't think we had an official meeting. Sorry, did no. I just overstep? I'm fifth in command. No, I, we're aware of the nickname. Fifth in command of the group that is considered by some the Reapers. I have a question. Please. Oh. Uh, Where's Randall? Randall is currently on assignment on a different mission, um, and I have been put in charge. I am <clears throat> effectively now in command of, as you called it, uh, the Reapers, so I guess you would now be sixth, unfortunately. 
Okay, that's a nice round number. I can deal with that. Can we just get this over with? Perfect, please. Uh, he kind of goes to the pad, and he's activating, and you see that there are images of, first it's Dantooine, and you see, whoom, and you see a kyber crystal <laughs> pop up. They start to float around. Another image pops up. It's Korriban, and the lightsaber that you provided pops up, throws around. You see Yavin, and at this point, it's like there's no image, it's just like the artifacts. Like, well, we know that this is now this artifact you delivered. Um, and again, I am stepping into this, so I want to be as transparent as possible. Um, obviously, you know, I made sure that you got more than you had originally uh, made a deal with for this yes. mission because I know that these are difficult. And I do want to understate the fact that uh, I understand this, and I am appreciative of the importance of what. These things you're collecting. I'm sensing a butt. But he clicks a button, and over Dantooine, an image of cool blue stripes pops up. <laughs> Message next to it, deceased. On Korriban, you see uh, everyone, um, Zat Thumper's crew, pretty much. Doc, uh, Furbius, the two Twi'leks, uh, uh, the one male they did survive, um, and they all pop up, deceased. And he's like, and now, Pushes a button, you see a little image of um, Chip. And it had status active. And he's like, well, kept, types a couple buttons, turns red, deceased. Um, you can understand that, again, these missions are of extreme importance and casualties are to, to be expected. Um, it sounds like you suffered uh, some injuries, at least on this yourself. Um, but you can see a pattern here that I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand why you seem to fail to understand that there's a war going on. And also, we're not exactly partaking in your regular sort of day-to-day -day reconnaissance and patrol. I would think that this would simply be an indication to you of just how dire these missions are. You clearly understand, as you did, as you say, arrange for us to be compensated more than originally agreed upon. Correct. I understand, yes, the importance of um, understanding the dangers of going into a hostile situation that you've done, um, the threats that they, uh, being undercover, uh, you know, being in these situations means... I'm just trying to understand you all. If we're going to be continuing to work together, uh, as it seems like there's one more artifact that I've been told that needs to be collected. And if Randall's not here, he has a rapport, I guess, with you. I'm just trying to understand the team, that the assets that I have available to me. Also, um, I'm just also trying to understand, you know, a connection that I, I, it just, to me, and, 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 and maybe you can understand this or not, it just seems that you've gone on these missions, and uh, even uh, with Dr. Yunuzi in there, she was your contact and you had left her in the, the base. Uh, she seemed to have been wounded, I guess, in some sort of confrontation, but still left her uh, there at the base. And there just seems to be a pattern of, of not returning uh, with everyone. I get it. I'm just concerned, because I would like to know everything you can tell me about this individual, and he clicks. Everything else <laughs> disappears, and a hologram image of a certain protocol droid appears, encompasses, like stretches up in the room. Um, I believe his operating number is CZ70B. That is correct. He was a member of your crew? For a time. And what can you tell me about this time? Well, this is going to be all you, Faye, because this is before the crew got cool. Literally. Because K001, we, I appreciate we have a news right now, we call joke, him cool. It's not as funny. Okay. He <laughs> was in our company. My comrade, Herg. Who is not present and currently alive? He's alive, yes. Found him 
<clears throat> while taking a leave of absence, I was on a mission elsewhere. He brought him back to the Yojimbo. He came with us to the fresh start. Ah, the fresh start. I'm glad you brought it up. He clicks a button and you see the fresh start. <laughs> and you start to see that there are like a bunch of like similar to the personnel images that you saw before of like the people sent on your cool blue and uh, chip <clears throat> that you see a bunch of them. None of them seem really familiar. Uh, but there is one individual, one picture that you recall was like the contact that merchant who you had found in that vault. Mm -hmm. And again, all of them say deceased, 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 deceased. Please continue. I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure that uh, for if you, if I don't understand this correctly, uh, <clears throat> Caleb and uh, Mr. Val, you were not present for the Fresh Start incident. No, I have no you, knowledge of such an incident. I have your uh, file here. You joined um, what would soon become the Reapers when uh, Randall himself approached you and it seems like Manon, he approached you on Manon and you, for work and that's when I have here in my records. Is this correct? That is correct. And yes. you had no uh, interactions with the rest of this crew that you're with now at that point? No. This is feeling more like an interrogation than a brief debriefing. I'm sorry if, uh, if that seems to be the case. And Mr. Val, your interaction with them was on Tatooine. That's this is right. also, sorry, I'm jumping ahead of the story. Please continue. This is when uh, it seems the CZ left and then Mr. Val came. But please, to the fresh start. That's, well, we survived that incident, so to speak. And then we went to Tatooine. It seems that CZ7OB had downloaded some faulty programming. Can you elaborate? He started to claim that he was an ancient, legendary Sith Lord, uh, if my... you believe that kind of stuff. Well, I don't, but it seems that one of our members, Co, uh, is, I have her on record as uh, a Valkorian, is what he called himself. The eternal, eternal one, I guess. Of, That's is, a is slick this an accurate title. statement? It was <laughs> certainly unexpected from yeah. who had been a rather mild mannered, if slightly addled, protocol droid. And you, uh, again, now, I Baron guess. Baron Val, eternal majestic. No. It does have a ring to it. It does have a ring to it. Sorry, go ahead. No, please. Um, and so he, tell me more about how he departed ways, because I have Ko's account here, but also um, Ko was on the ship, and it seems like you uh, left to chase after CZ7OB, and that's the end of her account until it seems that like you returned later. Well, we did try to pursue Mr. him. Val. Continue, please, sorry. He left to, I don't know, conquer the galaxy. What would Emperor Valkorion do? Yes, well, it's funny you say that too. And he clicks again, and it's now like a different part of the galaxy, kind of like out <clears throat> the edge of the outer rim. Uh, it, to, to kind of not beat around the bush, we've been monitoring Mr. CZ-70B Valkorion, how he, the Eternal Emperor ever... His new empire, and to be honest, there's been more important things uh, on our plate, the actual galactic empire. So we didn't take it much of a seriousness, and, and, and frankly, I didn't have the information here that it, now that I did then, which is his connection with yourselves. Um, however, um, this has become a more of a priority, well, after this. And he clicks, and you see the Alderanian flotilla. And it seems to be more ships and kind of more uh, intact than you've seen it recently. As ships come out of hyperspace and start to attack this Alderanian fleet. And you see ships. He's like, uh, we've intercepted some of these mission transmissions during the assault. Clicks. And uh, this is Fleet Captain Jeff Jami uh, of the Eternal Empire. We uh, know our orders. We must take out the library ship. 
everyone please continue uh, for the glory of the Empire. And he clicks another one, and it's like droids, and this is like droids of the Eternal Empire. Our time has come for our glorious leader. And she's like cuts, and you see. Um, so you can understand that there seems to be some pieces here that we're trying to put together as a former member of your crew has openly attacked the Alderadian fleet and declared himself uh, an emperor. And it seems like alliance members that we send with you have been killed on missions for these artifacts that started when you had Mr. CZ7OB in your company. I just, is uh, there... I'm sorry. Are you accusing us of being in league with a crazy protocol droid? I'm accusing you of nothing. I'm just trying to get the facts here. Well, it certainly seems like that is the fact that you are leaning heavily into. Again, I'm not trying. Uh, I am sorry if that seems to be the case. It feels that way. I fail to see a connection that you would be making between those who have been lost on our missions and this protocol droid that was in the group earlier. I'm just trying to see if there are any connections here. As you can understand, it's my job <clears throat> to, if I'm leading you, sending you off to the last final artifact as we have the three. Um, well, it seems like we have collected them all in one location, and despite my desires and requests, we are continuing to keep them all here in Dr. Yunuzi's lab. It seems like we are just asking for trouble and not saying that you're relaying any information to this CZ-70B, but there's nobody else really to relay any information from your artifact missions that can really prove anything to us. It seems, does it seem odd that every Alliance member, your contacts that are sent with you seem to die? Odd. It's unfortunate. And tragic, even, but odd. Go ahead and roll. Do your charm. <sighs> okay. Uh, what's the difficulty? It's gonna be four. Great. He doesn't quite believe you at this point. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take both of those difficulties. Okay. There's also a lot in the dark side or the light side pool. I know. Damn it! One failure. <sighs> <clears throat> As you said. Uh, Conflicts happen, casualties happen. It just seems that you have a very high track record. And as you've said yourself, you've earned a title of a name. Um, and you seem to hold up to it quite well. Our missions have been more than difficult. And many of our contacts have been some subpar at best. I don't think there is much to this connection you are inferring. You are making a river out of a stream. There is nothing here. Good rule. I love it when you ocean talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything. Uh, what, am I, what am I rolling? Um, my what? Do your charm on this one Oh too. God, my, her charm didn't work. <laughs> I'm up the creek with, oh, there's dice, another one. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's another one, I get it. Great. And I'm uh, rolling against what? It's gonna be four purple. We're yeah. We know all the like men it. of this galaxy let's, cannot resist it's Caleb. True. It's true. Let's add, <laughs> Look at that. I don't want to ruin my it's reputation. True. Let's do uh, two abilities. <laughs> a little birdie, because I should take one proficiency and one uh, boost. Okay. Voice. Let's see. Whoa. Right. Oh, you don't have it oh, on cancel out. Oh, I don't have out. the right cancel out. Okay, okay. so that means it's um, one success. That's okay, one success and three advantage. And three advantage, okay. I see. And how do I... <clears throat> um, uh, you gotta go to settings. It takes Commander uh, Cormu a minute. He just stares okay. into Caleb's eyes as he kind of passionately <laughs> says this. Um, and he goes, of course, I'm sorry. It's just I have to be thorough. Um, again, as I've stated... I understand that these things that you've been sent on are dangerous. I'm trying to assess as if we're going to be working together and I'm going to be sending my men, my personnel with you. I want to ensure their safety. I need to go through these. Uh, I need to assess everything. But it seems like what you're saying is true. It is, it is a horrible waste of life and a shame. 
fortunately, it's the galaxy that we live in. Um, and there's nothing better to help prove to me or anyone else any sort of doubt um, as we go to resolve this matter of, matter of the Eternal Emperor together. He clicks, and you see again like the enlargement of uh, this kind of unknown space. We know that uh, this CZ7OB uh, has his operations in this area. We have an inside connection uh, that we will be meeting. Click, and he pushes a button, and you see a new planet. It's kind of like a, a um, kind of like a, a frozen, kind of icy-looking planet. Um, he goes, "This is Tula. Uh, this is where we have a contact that can get us in more information for this CZ Seven uh, OB character." Um, I just want to make sure before I continue. Um, again, you are you are confirming that. All of these actions that he has taken since your departure, departure, you have nothing to do with and no contact with him. And everything that he did on the fresh start was under the idea that he was a crew member. Is this correct? This is correct. So I guess the most important question is, do you have any hesitations or issues with bringing him to justice? I'm not the right person to ask. Who would be? I'll have to run it by Herg. I see. Um, okay, if we need to, and again, in the sake of... We're all on the same team. Please, uh, I think I have enough information to start my debriefing of your mission on Yavin 4, um, and I will reach out to you. Um, if you're willing to assist in this matter of importance. Um, with that, he kind of, yes, Mr. Val. I don't <coughs> even know CZ70, what is it? CZ70. Why can't they just have names? Can I call him Jim? I'm calling him Jim. I don't know Jim, um, but this is not supposed to be our next mission. I'm sorry, do you have information that I'm not aware of? Our next mission is supposed to, we, we went to that planet and we found that cloak with an understanding that our next mission would be to find MRES, the Chip Chub agent. I'm sorry, I don't have any information. Can you elaborate? Is I'm sorry, you're not a weird guy in shades. Uh, I, I'm taking a lot of just displaced anger out on you right now. Um, we're supposed to be, uh, going after her, one of our crew members. The one wife. that you need to check on. Yes. His wife. Emress from Chib Chub. It's a team. I'm aware of Chib Chub. It's not as good of a name as Reapers, but I still, I really think that we should go with Reapers. It's just a good, it's a good name. Just as you, you, you hear kind of like fists kind of like tightening as you say it, as like all the soldiers who are like at like the different doors are like keeping quiet, but as you're like, oh, we should really go by the name, which is the equivalent of like, rebels die. Like that's what you're saying, right? But yeah. They don't say anything. They just <laughs> hear like the tightening of their fists. All right. When they call us Reapers, they are referring to the rebels that have died in our company, not the evil ones we have destroyed so readily. Uh, uh, Bad guy reapers. Again, I don't want to. Well. Was there a I'm point? Sorry. You were... Yeah. Yes, there was a point. Uh, Randall is playing an op to send us against Gorampu and the Huts to recover this Alliance agent. He so promised us resources. This was an operation that Randall was orchestrating. Go ahead and roll. Uh, oh, man. Do your negotiation on this. Or should I skull dug this? <laughs> or or <laughs> I'm gonna go with the, you're giving me the option. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> what am I rolling against? To uh, it's completely gonna... set your notebook on fire? Four purple <laughs> dice, one red dice. Dang. You're gonna take them light-sided dice? 
There's a I lot don't there. No, I feel like I'm personally rolling against Bert right now, <laughs> which makes me feel bad because I love him. Uh, but I'm gonna take three boosts. So you're taking it from the light side. Yeah, I'm okay. doing a nice thing. Right sure, now. sure, sure. Is there any other? It's just the three boosts. Yes. Okay. Am I dark side aligned right now? You yeah, could, you yeah, sure well, you, are. It's you, been like a month. You melted a dude's face. Yeah. Uh, that I really, did. I did. It really put you over the... Okay. <laughs> and yet I'm like dark side for an hour or something. Well, you wore the cloak. Four failures <laughs> and one disadvantage. Okay. Oh, jeez. I will look into this matter, but if it's something that Randall had promised, I think I might be... Not overstating a statement that nothing he should he says should be trusted, but I will look into the matter and if there is any validity to it, yes. But this is a top priority of the Rebel Alliance, and if you wish to continue to assist us in our operations, this is a requirement. I'll leave it at that. So please, unless there's any other questions that you might have, go talk to your herd friend and um, please get back to me as soon as possible. Well, he's going to love the conversation now. And whatever our next mission, we will definitely need more supplies, medical supplies, food rations. Perhaps had we more medical supplies on us, more of your people would have survived. Duly noted. Uh, please send a list, um, and I will get you whatever I can. Hello, 14. 14 foot tall cat monster friend. Uh, our next mission is to bring your best friend to justice and also we can't chase after your wife anymore. What do you think? Should we go do it? I don't know. This is gonna go great. Well, if the theatrics are done, uh, again, please contact me, Captain Faye, when you're ready. They are not, and she will. The theatrics are never done with this one. I see, I. Kind Much to look forward to. Constant he state. <clears throat> kind of motions to a door. It opens. Uh, the rebel mm -hmm. samurai soldiers move to the side, and you're kind of back in. Uh, he's kind of motioning for you to to leave. Shall we? Yeah. I start to go back to the okay. indomitable. Um, Aaron Val. Please do your perception. What am I rolling It's going to be three purple. Okay. I'll take that ability. Oh, you're going to take it from Ooh. the light side. Okay, so you've taken twice from the light side. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. Keep forgetting I melted a man's face. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. Like you can do it. I melted a man's face. If you're going to go for it, go for broke, I guess, but... Yeah, I'll go for it. Okay. You, that was it? You just took that the one ability? Yeah. Okay. Two successes, Sorry. one Jedi moment. Okay. Ooh. I'll show it to you if you don't believe it. I believe well. you, I believe you. Unfortunately, you're going to take... Uh, <laughs> Skullduggery. Nice. nice. <laughs> Four failures. Uh, Why not? Two strain. <clears throat> two strain? Two strain. Um, oh, I perceived and pulled... Oh my uh, again, you, you're trying to go back to... This light sidedness, you're pulling from this this kind of positive energy from the force. I don't know what But I'm you're doing, stuck man. in a really weird place. You see, uh, as you're walking by, there is an individual that seems to be in like a janitor's outfit and he's kind of like just mopping. And it's Nathorian. <laughs> and you realize that it's Ket, uh, Randall's kind of oh, Nathorian that he has with him. And he kind of looks, makes eye contact with you, and kind of like goes like into like a little small cubby of like the area that he's cleaning as he like disappears in the shadows. He definitely makes eye contact with you and just kind of The seats in that room are filthy. <laughs> oh my do you see that do you see my duster? Do you, you are, see my duster? You are quite filthy. I am I'm going yes. to find something to clean this with. I'll catch up and I just is this a look there's cleaning supplies in this closet. Huzzah Okay, so you see him just kind of going into a closet. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you see a uh, You see Ket? He's there. Oh, yes. Oh, um, and, uh, shut the door. Do you have the? Uh, do you have the cylinders? Yes, I have the cylinders. Quickly, quickly! I need to uh, get them, and that has all the. Where is Randall? He's 
away on a mission. I can't tell you about it. Why it's, are they so mad at him? He did. He's he's making waves. Oh, look, I just need the cylinder. It just if you get it to me, that's what we need to help move on to the next stage. I boop him on the forehead with a cylinder. Okay. Why is everyone so mad at him? Go ahead and roll. Um. <laughs> <laughs> What it's about your charm? Mm -hmm. It's my charm? Yeah. It's not a pleasant boot. Oh, then it's going to be your uh, coercion. <laughs> mm. I just assume you do your boops very gently. No, that was, <laughs> no, that was a friendship boot. He's a this is a, this is a ha! Yeah, yeah okay. This is more it's, of like a bat. It's definitely coercion. <laughs> There's uh, a few more dice in that boot. <clears throat> um, I'm going to take a, uh, a difficulty. Okay. Uh, what am I rolling against? Uh, two. Two purple? Two purple. Two purple. Uh -huh. a, a failure and an advantage. I, I, I don't know, you know, you've, you, you've met him before. He's a very difficult person to work with. He is. He let a bunch of people into my home and they shit everywhere. They destroyed our couch. I can't ever go back. It's terrible. <laughs> as soon as I find out who that is, I will bring them to justice. <laughs> but I need the cylinders. I need to get them uh, back and then, uh, and then why? Uh, never again, never again. He owes us. He does, but this is how we, this is the first step. Did you read the datas? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Wait, uh, this? Yes, they're data cylinders. The ones in my hand? There's, do uh, you have all three? Yes. Give them to me quickly. I'm supposed to read them? Oh, I just assumed you read them. No! I'm, Give them I don't Aaron. snoop! That's probably why he trusts you. Give me the data cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> and he takes them and he's like, with these, maybe. It sounds like you have to do this other thing, but uh, they should help us find her. Well, this is the proof that we need. You had <laughs> proof, apparently, but it was destroyed or something. Some, some deleted the file. But this, this will, this is what we need to restore hope. I mean, I don't know about that. It's somebody's wife. I don't understand. But it just sounded like a good line. Okay. And uh, he's like, "You should go, 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 go." Okay. Wait, is there like a something I can spray on? You're not a real janitor. And I he just like pulls around. out a thing and he's <laughs> and he starts to clean it. It's fine. Uh, as I, I found some club soda, the door opens. I just say that to whoever. He stop. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> uh, before you go, hmm? Randall wants to know. Do you have any message for your sister? Hmm? He said, if I saw you and he gave me this, if you, he's, he's with your sister and I could give him a message. No? Okay, you should go now. Who? Okay, maybe I heard it wrong. Go, go, go. No. Close the door. <laughs> My who? <coughs> Look, if you don't know, I can't explain it to you. Do you have a, he's with, he's on Shotoran and... No, I don't need the it's biological like explanation of what a sister is. And then, so I guess your father met your mother and then you did what humans <laughs> do and now you have a sister and he's there. Never mind, forget it, crazy. Tell her I'm excited to meet her. Good, great, go do this thing and then we'll be ready. And I quietly, very quietly leave the closet. Okay, so from everyone else's <laughs> perspective, unless you just kept walking. I just kept walking. <laughs> Aaron taking off into a closet is not I don't know whether I noticed new. that or not. Did I notice that you he- You definitely saw him <laughs> he did say he was going. Yeah, he said he was going. I assume he <laughs> wanted to change his clothes. So you guys have just continued to day. walk on. Yes. Okay, so they don't see you as you come yep. out. If they had, they would have, yeah, so. Okay, so you're outside of this custodial Mon Calamari. It's like a weird door, it's like a. Is there anybody around me? There's no one around you at this point. Did everybody all leave together? It seems like they just kept walking, and presumably to the hangar, I don't know. Yeah. You're alone in a rebel cruiser next to a custodian's area by yourself. It's the makings of a good country song right there. Mm -hmm. It really is. I should do something skullduggerish. ish 
I'm just gonna walk the other way. N not the way that they went. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know if I'm meaning to. Okay. So you just kind of start roaming the I halls. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> sure. Okay. You just pulled the old Star Wars sibling thing on me. We didn't cut to herd. <laughs> you just still been in the ship. Since you haven't heard anything from the other room with Io reaching for it, but has has Io said anything? And it doesn't since seem like she it. woke up. Okay. Besides everything that she was saying when she yes. came out. I am going to step into the room, approach Io. Is she, where, where was she when she woke up from the back of the room? Was she like in a bed? In no, like it a, was kind of like, you have like a, it's, you're, it's on a ship, so it's yeah. like this chamber that's like in the cargo hold. So it was very kind of like sterile. It's like just onto the graded floor kind of thing. Like it, presumably you guys had placed out you know, whatever, blankets, scarves, cloth, whatever Aaron has, but okay. it's not like it's a very, it's not like a hospital room. It's okay. literally just a it's large just storage area. A storage area in our, in the ship? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna walk into this storage area. Um, maybe I'll have grabbed a blanket or something. Sure. On the way in, just whatever else I think I might appreciate. And I'll say, I owe it's Herg. No one's reported back yet. I don't know what's going on out there, but... I need to hear from you, I owe. They're all I have left. What? They're all I have left. What is all you have left, Ayo? They're all I have left. Of him. Your eyes. Sorry, Ayo. I don't know what you are going through. But I know that you are a survivor. You survived. More than anyone I think I have ever met. More than even my mate. Especially more than myself. I can't let him fade. He will not fade. Not again. He will not fade. No, I have not. As long as you have blood pumping in your veins, he will not fade. <laughs> because you will keep him alive. To glorious. He is gone. He is not gone. <laughs> we Togorians, Io, we have a belief that when you die, you go to a place where memories of those living keep you alive still. So as long as you are alive, Io, he will not fade. In the same way that my mate will not fade as long as I breathe. you for as much time as you need. 
and we will help you in any way we can. I get a little bit. Make sure that he does not fade, Kyle. Make sure. <laughs> you would have finished your briefing and been and are we back yeah okay i want to go to where herg and i are so I... the ramp was already down okay i just go in yep. and i'm just looking for them it's very easy to spot because of the sounds it's a quiet mm -hmm. ship despite right. the commotion right immediately go i go exactly running where in i owe the crew has arrived i'm <laughs> separate i've gone to <clears throat> follow up on the supplies. Sure. Do you want me to tell them anything? <laughs> All right. I try to catch Captain. Literally, it's like, you know, you're there and, and you're just, you come I'm into there. the room, you see that I was there, Herg is right next to him. I see her lock eyes and sort of signal this way as I step outside. I want to tell her something. I follow him. Captain, she, uh, she lost her eye. I was afraid of that. Scarring is mostly gone, but she mentioned something about not wanting someone to fade and that her eyes may have been the last thing she had of him. Hmm. I gave her food and a drink. I told her that we would be here for her, but I don't know. I think she just needs time. I remember something that you told me after Spira about the people that we love living on and our memories of them. Not in their physical manifestations. Herg. We met with some new contact here in the Rebel Alliance, who I'd never seen before. Not Randall? No. He's apparently away on some mission. All right. We found CZ. They've apparently known where he's been all along and have been tracking him. What has he done? Remember the Alderanian flotilla, what was left of Alderaan. Remember the attack against them? It wasn't the Galactic Empire. It was him. How? Oh. Well, he would certainly be able to track them. After all, he was from Alderaan. They want us to take him out. I feel responsible. Responsible? For what he's done? How would you be responsible for that? He escaped on my watch. Her. Whatever sort of insidious program is taken over what used to be a harmless droid. He escaped on my watch. I let him slip through my fingers. Then you're prepared to do this? To find him? Yes. Yes. All right. 
Is I... that our next mission? Yes. So they don't know where Emres is? No. You didn't find anything on your own, did you? Because I'm willing to abandon ship and go help you look for her if you've got any leads. Nothing. Real quick. I don't want to interrupt this too much. <laughs> we ended up <clears throat> an hour a while ago. I just mm -hmm. wanted to let that go. Uh, tier two, light side. Okay. Looks like we're keeping it canon, going to Hoth. Oh! Uh, <laughs> so, we got some surprise. people uh, out see there that you are in hell. protecting yeah! us. I'm going to reset this. This is our third and final round. It can end uh, at any point. Um, so there's no kind of like sniping for this. You just got to right. go in hard and heavy from the very beginning. Uh, mm -hmm. That being said, this is our third one. It is Indomitable Unlocks. Oh. Uh, Tier one is like a uh, scarf knitting station, so it's essentially uh, like a loom. Uh, yeah, we'd all love that. Scarves, <laughs> as far as something the eye for can see. everybody. <laughs> uh, tier two is amphibious modifications. You could basically turn Ooh, the an underwater, underwater ship? into a submarine. Ooh, no. Quite, I want to uh, hear more about. That. <laughs> Oh. Tier three is a uh, tier three to get away from my boy. Is an eyeball regeneration kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tier no. three. Uh, and if that's what they call turrets, you get an additional turret. So you know, how, like the Falcon <laughs> has people. two, you only have one, but you could do. Dang. Uh, dark side tier one is a very, very uh, exquisite uh, wardrobe room. So this is where you could store all your outfits. So. One case you have unlimited scarves, in this other it's case, good. I went minimal. Uh, you yes. In this case, uh, it would be like your uh, where you store. Uh, you're probably never ending <coughs> wardrobe changes. Um, two is smuggler floor plate. So imagine like the hidden compartments in the Mon or the Millennium Falcon. You could do that with that. And then uh, tier three is a self destruct capability. Not saying that the ship would blow up immediately as it's unlocked, but. Uh, in some cases, if maybe you wanted to uh, just be like, nah, I don't want the Indomitable anymore, it's gone. Uh, Could that, it be triggered by searching the glove compartment? Uh, uh, if you're being pulled over, yes, yes. Uh, no, with that, well, I just want to clarify, it happened to me once. Yes. Uh, start, you have really bad luck searching everything, though. Um, our third and final round. With that, I'm going to start. Please continue. I apologize, but I wanted to get this one going because... Yes. Good one. Captain. Where is Archie, Archibald? Oh, he's... He's like right next to you. He's with, been around you the yeah, whole time. Yeah, he's just been following me. Oh. <clears throat> I might help if maybe he could... Yeah. ...do the thing that animals do when people are hurting. Alright. Herg, can you look through Aaron Val's considerable supply of fineries and see if he has any wine. You want to get drunk? Not exactly. Yes, of course, Captain. Right away. I'll head to the mess area on okay. the ship and look for alcohol. <laughs> wine, yes. Wine, wine, wine. Uh... Archie senses that uh, Io's in the next room. Yeah. Kind of moves in. Io, you just feel uh, it's almost like there's a <coughs> little, little small creature next to you within reach. But uh, Archie doesn't do anything besides just kind of like curl. He's at this point a little bit bigger, so mm -hmm. he kind of curls up around you, like your back, um, and just kind of snuggles up with you. I approach them slowly. Okay. Io. I don't expect you to respond. I know that this is a terrible shock to you. And you feel that you've lost something that you can't replace. And it's okay to feel that way. I just wanted to tell you that I 
I finally got to go to the research lab where they're doing whatever it is that they're doing with these artifacts that we've been collecting. I'm still not entirely sure what it is, but do you remember Januzzi from Dantooine? She's the scientist who's in charge of this, and, and she told me that we're all in grave danger. I am not sure why. But I just wanted to say I know. But what I wanted to say is that on the off chance that whatever we've been doing, what these collecting these artifacts has somehow been counteractive and is what put it is what is putting us in danger. I wanted to say thank you. Thanks to you, they don't have one of the artifacts that they were looking for. So maybe we're not as in much danger as we thought. What? Is it worth it? It is worth it. I don't know what it is that you're going away from. But whatever it is, I'm glad that it brought you to us. I think that Maybe there's some reason that we were all supposed to be together. And whatever it is, I know that you have some past demons, some family ties that are maybe confusing or... I don't care whatever it is though. It won't. As long as it lives on in your memory, all we are is the summation of the memories that we have. In theory, if one was able to preserve all of their memories and their body was to fade away and their memories could be transferred to another, they're still the same person. He is. As long as you remember him, he'll always be with you. I grab the uh, stupid necklace that I have here and I just like shove it in her hand. This is really stupid. It's 
like a piece of tourist junk you get in a spaceport. I got it on Bakura. Not long before I met you. One of them didn't give it to you, did they? <laughs> uh, no. Impulse purchase. I was having a bad day when I found out that I'd been landlocked. I got, let's just say Aaron Val's not the only one that's made bad shopping decisions while intoxicated. I have very few tastes. Yeah, I remember. This is certainly not classy enough for you. Yeah, I thought it was okay. With your expert hearing, you <clears throat> can kind of hear this conversation that's going on there, and you've definitely found a few bottles of wine. <laughs> I was like pretending to like <laughs> look for stuff as I was like listening. Herg, any luck? Yes, I have wine. I take them. Uh, I open. Like Rue's there, and Rue has like a built in Great. Like, wine. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so Rue opens them. Yep. I hand a bottle to Io. I'm not sure this is quite as fancy as your Chandril in red, but I don't know. Aaron Val comes from money. Can't be too terrible. How did you know I was drinking Chandril in red? Because Commander Cucumber wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> Let's just say that subtlety was neither one of their things. to remembering those we've lost. That we may never truly lose them. We're gonna cut. <clears throat> Caleb, you went to go get supplies. Yes. Uh, there's like a quartermaster there that, uh, you know, like you see him, like he's dictating supplies that are going off to different ships. Um, and so he seems clearly as the person to go to to kind of get supplies. Mm -hmm. um, there's a handful of, like, you see, like the samurai looking dudes next to him, like kind sure. of talking, and they're pointing towards a particular ship as you're seeing supplies go into it. Then I will approach him. We are in need of more supplies, and we were promised them by Commander Kuramu. Oh, I'm... Medical supplies. Rations. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I don't have any... Let me see. Do, do you have, like, a list or something that I can... That's a very broad statement, I guess, is what you're asking me. Yes. Medical supplies. I can give you some band-aids, or I can give you something more substantial. You just need. We will need it. something more substantial for Perfect. our next Perfect. mission. Uh, uh, we will need to be fully stocked. Okay. And just medical supplies. Medical supplies. Uh, we will need power packs, uh, rations. Any it, proton torpedoes? Uh, <laughs> you want like a missile launcher? What else do you? I mean, it's just a shopping list. I guess you just come up to me and ask me. I don't know who you are, but. Yeah, sure, okay. I guess. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know what our official name is. I don't want to call ourselves the Reapers. Oh, you, you haven't. If you did, it would be. Uh, they would be bad. All right. Bad. What am I check? What am I rolling? A charm. It's gonna thing? be charm. It's my favorite. Uh, I should coerce this guy. Or negotiation, whichever you prefer. Or you could do coercion. Mm, negotiation is charm. Coercion would be better, but that seems like a bad idea. That seems like it would be it higher could, difficulty. It can change the difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just let's just try the charm. Okay. Uh, and what am I rolling against? Uh, it'll be three. Three purple. Three purple, sorry. We will we got add. quite a few of those. Yes, let's add. This is important. Let's add two abilities and one boost. Anything else? You one more ability. OK. All right. Uh, one success, two advantages. Okay, so he's like talking, and he's kind of like looking at his data pad. He wasn't even looking at you. He's like, what did I give you a proton or a missile? And he like looks up and just like kind of like stops for a minute as he just looks into your eyes. Oh, uh, no, um, sorry, I, yeah, uh, what, what, what else? Medical supplies, rations, yeah, yes, just, I'm sorry, who are you? Who are you? I'm Caleb Sack. From the Indomitable, the Yojimbo. The, those two ships there, yes. I'm sorry, medical supplies. Yes, uh, we will need medical <coughs> rations, supplies. Rations, power packs. Power you, packs. you got whatever I can do, I'll scrounge it together. Yes, absolutely. Uh, if, you said, if you said you talked to the commander about this, uh, of course, yes. I'm on it. I'll deliver, would you like which? Deliver, deliver them. them to both. Please, to both ships. Of course, and, uh, ref we'll refuel and uh, ships and just, I'm on it, I'm on it. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. <clears throat> you see, kind of like, Speeds off. The two other like kind of samurai soldier dudes just kind of look at you and just nod, and they go off in a different direction. Now head back to the ship. Okay. We're gonna cut to Aaron Val. You've been roaming around, uh, wandering. <laughs> We're over around the ship. Uh, you've ended up in kind of like uh, a, a barracks. Section so it just seems like a lot of like makeshift bunks that have been put in. Normally, it's like a <coughs> Mon Calamari cruiser. They have to retrofit a lot of stuff to fit mm -hmm. like non Mon Calamari. So it's like they've fit in these kind of standardized bunks. You see a lot of people walking around. So you just kind of wandered into like a military bunker section uh, of the ship. So I sort of wander in there because um, Rue's mm -hmm. in the room. I heard all of that. Yeah. Um, so that's fun. Um, you also have comms. You can also. Uh, windows, any? Uh, it's all What's like you. You've wandered into the ship, so there's no sort of like viewports or anything. It. It's kind of like they tuck this away, in like the belly of it, next to like maybe more equipment and stuff. Is there anyone here? There's a few people walking around. Uh, it looks like a couple guys are like going to the showers. One person's taking a nap, and the guy's like playing cards on his. Monk. Cool, I sit now next to that guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, no, I mean, I was just, are you, hey, that's a strange uniform. You, where'd you come, where'd you come from? Oh, uh, uh, I'm from a espionage division. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your charm. <laughs> it's gonna be two purple. But you're gonna get a natural boost. And uh, I'll take that setback. Bloop. Oh, Sorry, just in. rolled and zoomed, zoomed in. in. For some reason, how do you zoom back zoom out? Zoom out. There we go. Ooh, four successes, one advantage. Little. <laughs> yeah, that's, been, that's a good one. You, couldn't, you wouldn't actually say that if you were. That's, uh, yeah, it's, that's funny. That's funny. Wait, is a skull on your your shoulder? Holy crap! It is. It's, uh, it's cool. It's cool, uh, it's man. It's a thing. Thanks. <laughs> Deal me in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, what do you want to play? Oh, you pick. Sabak choice. This is a deal. Okay, fine. This is something you want to do totally rules that everyone gets and aren't complicated whatsoever. Yeah, let's play it. So he starts dealing out a bunch of cards. Uh, my name is Miguel, by the way. Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. 
Cool. So you guys are just starting to play cards. Do you want to actually like? He's like, oh, do you want to just play for fun, or do you want to make this interesting? Let's make it interesting, Miguel. Okay. Uh, he's like, I've been saving up quite a bit, you know. And he's got like a stash of like credits, and it doesn't actually look like a lot, considering that you just got, you just got transferred like five thousand from your share of uh, the mission that you just 50, did. Fifty thousand. Uh, it was fifty thousand. There's five of you, so it's I know ten. how to do math. <laughs> He's trying to cheat us. Yeah. <laughs> trying to cheat Aaron. I'm fine with. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and part of it, it, look, you have to take some of it. It has to go in your 401k, and then mm -hmm. the, you need to take it out for health benefits that you know, you're getting right now with the after space taxes. Space taxes. It is look, five grand. Look, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hate space. You put into an actually better bracket, but you actually yeah. make less money. Well, now we can't itemize. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So he's like, all right. Uh, wait, how much? It's, uh, what's he sort of gotten a stack? He's got like a stack of like 500 credits tops. Uh, you know, 200. I'm not feeling hugely all frisky right, today. All right, Go ahead and roll. Uh, I'm, do your skullduggery for this, I guess. Just, there just... it is. He's been wanting to skulldug all session. I love skulldugging. You're gambling. You're gambling. Uh, well, unless you're going to, well, actually, now that, <laughs> no, I already said you can do it. Go for it. <laughs> Should be like cool or maybe. Uh, what am I rolling else? against? Um, I'll tell you. Good of a hand he has. All right, you're gonna do three purple on this one. So I'm gonna do two purple. Oh, you got some special. Yeah, I got a thing. Mm. Forcing the GM to give you what you want. I yeah, get force. it. <laughs> yeah, we used a force, Bert. Stop zooming in. And there's one difficulty in the pool. And there's a bunch of light side ones, too. I'll take that difficulty. Okay. Man, what happened to the 12 setbacks we had? Was that all you? Did you use most of them? I used a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To no, to no avail. I'm not rolling well. A failure and an advantage. Okay. So <laughs> he wins that hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but the advantage is to be feeling confident. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> good roll. So good now roll. you just good sit roll. down and talk to a random guy. He takes his money, am I right? Ah. You got me. How long have you been doing this, Miguel? Playing cards a long time. <laughs> no, this kid. whole alliance thing. Oh, I guess it's been like, what? Six months? Six months. Yeah. Family, friends, back home, anything like that? What's your story? I mean, go ahead and roll. You're gonna do your charm on this? What am I rolling again? Uh, three. And there's none in the dark side. You got some light side stuff. I'll, eh. I'll take those two boosts. Okay. You're going to take one strain. Yeah, small talk hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Core success is two disadvantages. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, fam family back home, you know. Uh, I, they're real proud, real proud. Um, you know, doing what I can. You can tell that there's like a little bit of kind of the chipperness that he had in his voice kind of dips down a little bit, and you can tell that there's obviously something more that he's not saying. But he's like, yeah, yeah you know, it's you know, they're they're real, real proud, real proud. And uh, in sure. uh, when did you start? I don't know what this uniform is. But when did you start the Rebel Alliance? Oh, we've been at this a couple of months, I guess. It's cool. Oh, so you're a uh, fresh Greenhorn. I get it. A rookie. That's yeah, all right. Well, absolutely. trust me, it's, it's kind of tough out there, but uh, you Only know. Only a few under my belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And he's, do you want to continue to play cards with him? Sure. Okay. Can I ask you another question, Miguel? Uh, sure. I Meanwhile, well, you're taking my money. Yeah. I'll just bet another 200. All right. Did you want to ask him a question, though? Is it worth it? Damn, man, I don't know. It's, I need a drink for this conversation. I just met you, but you have a you pull out like a flask. Yeah. Have. Yeah. Oh shit, this looks expensive as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it is very expensive as fuck, Miguel. Uh, you know, honestly, man, uh, is it worth it? Some days, yes. Some days, no. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, regardless of what anyone else thinks of you, whatever else you do. Uh, as long as you're, at the end of the day, you know that you've done the right thing, and you're good with yourself, that's all that matters, man. Is that what you tell yourself on the days that it's not worth it? 
Uh, no, on the days that it's not worth it, he like just opens up the flask and just starts. <laughs> and hands it back to you. Is it one of those days you reflect, or one of those days where you he just points at the flask? Okay. Well, I guess that was the answer I was looking for, Miguel. Oh, looks like I won again. Looks mm. like you won again. And I kind of get up. I pass him the other 200. Also, um, I was actually sent through your, uh, your enlistment bonus didn't actually uh, come through, Miguel. Oh, I didn't uh, say so. anything. I was just joining. I, what? what? You were the guy I was supposed to find. And I oh, sort of okay, that's cool. Toss another four hundred. Oh wow! Oh cool! This is great. This will go a long way back home. Thanks, man. Enlistment, but he's like kind of keeps mumbling to himself as he's looking. But uh, you walk away. Stay yeah. there. Okay. Make sure it's worth it out there, Miguel. Yeah. Well. You too, man. You too. All right, we're gonna cut back to, at this point, Caleb, I'm assuming you went back. I had went back to the ship. The Indomitable, <laughs> at this point, everyone besides Aaron Val mm -hmm. is on the Indomitable, right? There's a couple bottles of wine that have been opened, but mm -hmm. you're all collectively here together. I go and get my bowcaster from the Ujimbo. Yeah, that's on the Ujimbo. Captain told me that it was there, so I go get it. Okay, so you get it? Back on the Indomitable. Okay, it, it looks like it's been <laughs> through hell and back. It's, been yeah. it's like super dirty. It's like it's, it's been fine. in the mud. I don't care. There's chew marks all over. It. As if got bigger problems. Sorry, right her now. Archie kind of thought it was a yeah. toy. It's fine. He like perks up when you bring it back in, but it's still kind of just active. Archie. I put it in my bunk. Can't sure. get to it. So you guys are here on the Indomitable. Um, well, Aaron is missing. Whenever Aaron Val decides to rejoin us, we have to. Where is he? He wandered off into a closet, and um, <laughs> that is true. That <laughs> That's a true statement. Hasn't come back. It seemed fairly normal for him. I figured he was just changing his clothes. I'm sure he'll return in time, probably with and seven to eight more scarves. Yes. Yeah. He doesn't come back. He will. He always does. Aaron. Aaron Val. Hey, handsome. I was asking about you. We're in the Indomitable. I'm on my way back. We'll see you soon. Anyway, we, I guess, just have to decide now if we're all in agreement about accepting this mission from Commander Koromu. I defer to you three who have been here longer. I have no connection with this CZ, so it matters not to me unless it matters to you. What if... What if we tried to do this our own way? Not with a rebel alliance, but what if we went off of the grid and tried to find out what we could find on our own? We wouldn't get paid, but we would have no one to report to. I like the way you're thinking, Herg, but they have specifically asked us to do this. We might as well take advantage of the information that they already have, but not necessarily act according to their orders. What do they want in return? They want us to take him out. That's as much as I know. I would not be comfortable unless I understood what your uh, own way, your game plan, your ideal scenario would be. CZ, Otherwise, I don't know what I'm getting into. CZ-70B is an old, old protocol droid. They don't make droids like that anymore. He was the last remnant of the Library of Alderaan. 
the information that's stored in that droid will be lost forever if we destroy him. Well, he could be deactivated as opposed to destroyed. Yes. Exactly. Does the, the Rebel information Alliance, would be safe. Does the Rebel Alliance have a procedure for droids that have committed crimes? I don't know. Are they deactivated or tried? I don't understand. I don't either. It, 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 mm. it was a program that he had in his memory banks that yes. took over him, and otherwise he was a completely harmless protocol droid. But this new program thought itself an old evil emperor of some sort. Yes. Who or how was this program downloaded into him? Apparently this Belcorion person found a way to download his subconscious into some kind of a computer program and it lay dormant in the files that were on Alderaan. And because he has all of Valkorion's memories and knowledge, he's essentially him. But he's still a droid. Yes. So this program was within him all the time. As and far as we can tell. Was either accessed accidentally by him or triggered by an external source. That's what I'm curious about. It's possible that we could deactivate CZ and maybe find if there is some outside source that's controlling him. Or at least wipe the part of him that is Valkorion away. Exactly. And preserve what's valuable about CZ, bring him back. Is he dangerous on his own? I don't know. Yeah, he certainly thinks himself dangerous yeah. as Valkorion, but I don't know. But without those to order around, if we can separate him from his crew, his followers, he is could very, we take him? Very intelligent, manipulative. But other than that, I would imagine no. Physically dangerous, no. Yes, I agree. He could be immobilized. So the problem will be the intelligence. separating him from the those that would protect him. Yes. Oh, and I yes. was going to say the problem was the intelligence. He says that as Aaron Val walks into the room, <laughs> he's arrived at. Aaron, did you successfully clean your coat? I did. I found a nice club soda and really got this out. You are not much cleaner, but you smell of ammonia. You always say the sweetest things to me. <laughs> I do not understand him most of the time. Aaron, do you know what type of bread Io prefers? I do. Okay. I just made a, some bread. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, good to know. So what's the plan, Captain? Are we taking this mission from the Rebel Alliance, knowing that we still have to report to them afterwards, but taking advantage of their information that they're willing to share? I say that we accept the mission, see exactly what it is that they want, and if it's not in line with what we want, then we go rogue. I have one last thing I would need to know. Should we be confronted with a choice where it is your friend, CZ, or one of us, I need to know ahead of time who you will choose and who you would expect me to choose. Because if you're in danger and the only way I can save you is by destroying CZ, that would be my choice. And I would need to know you would have my back all the same. The choice is clear, Caleb. Our friends are what is important. Yes. But this CZ is also one of your friends. He, he was. Used to be. And if, it can, if he can be saved, then, then I would be honored to be the part of a group that could do that. But if he cannot be saved, and lives can be saved by putting an end to him, well, then I do not believe that Alderaan would die with him. 
as long yeah. as there are people who remember it. Yes, yes. And so long as CZ believes himself to be Emperor Valkorion, he is Valkorion. That is who he is, yes. And CZ is gone. You hear? Then I am with you. Kind of like footsteps in the, like coming from farther up the ship. Like what? <clears throat> hello, um, hello. Not trying to just barge in, just the, the ramp was down, I've been sent in, I don't know where anybody's at. You just kind of hear this voice echoing. He's not walking into <laughs> your guys's, but you hear a voice, somebody <laughs> else is on the ship. Hello? I, I walk up to the front to greet this person first because I'm the most intimidating. Mm -hmm. Good call. Uh, you kind of get to the, it's make, the voice is kind of making its way into the cargo hole or towards it and you walk to like at the entrance. Oh, oh, Herg, it's, it's good to see you again. You see it's the Keldor boy Aww. that you had rescued from Narshada, who had like joined the Rebel Alliance. Last time they, you had met him, you kind of told him like, get as far away from this war. Like don't, don't be involved. Uh, but he seems to be kind of like, I am happy and sad to see him. <laughs> fully, yeah, fully embrace it. Uh, it's, it's uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's just the ramp was down and uh, Commander Krom told me to come in and, and, and check on you guys, I guess you have a question for him and or an answer or something, and I just, I, he, he knew that I knew you from, anyways, I just, I can come back at another time, it looks like there's no, something. No, no, it's fine, come up. We have an answer for your commander, Karamu. <clears throat> Karam, yeah, Karamu, yeah, Karamu. We call him Karam, it's just. Okay, you may tell him that we accept his mission. Could. And are awaiting further orders. Um, okay, uh, I'll be back. I'm. I think he's actually kind of. I guess anticipated or not. We's, we're getting ready to go. Um, yeah, just give me. I'll be right back. Just. And he kind of walks back out. It is good and bad to see you. And he just kind of walks out. Hi. -o. Sort of hold a hand down to Io. Get up. Don't look at my face. Io. Don't look at my face. Up. Please don't look at my face. Deal. Like it's around me. Pull her to her feet. And just pull her against me. And your face is as beautiful as the first day you scared the shit out of me, Io. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. I don't like it when people lie. And you know that I don't. I don't like it when people lie to me. I don't like it when people lie to me. I don't like it when people lie. I do you, Io. Please don't lie. Io. Where did you go? I'm here. Where did you go? I had to drop something off. I'm here. That was a lie. Um, you should have been on the Star Viper with me, Io. And I 
I didn't want to be in the room with you because this is my fault. wasn't your fault. I'm not good at this. I shouldn't be here. I'm not good at this. This is my fault. I don't know why I'm here. Don't lie. What does he have on you? He doesn't have anything on me, Io. He was just the second person who didn't think I was an idiot. And you were the first one. came down to it. I think Io would take a bullet for me, and quite frankly, I think I would take a bullet for her. Io, say that again? I don't know what I said. You said it. I did. I meant it. Look at me. Don't look at my face. Don't look at my face. It's okay. I won't. Don't look at my face. I won't. Don't. Shh. I won't. Don't look at my face. Come back. Just commander's ready whenever you are. Um, we're ready to depart. I guess there's some supplies that have been brought to your ship. I'll come back. This seems really important. Um, yeah, give us a minute. Okay. Thank just, you. We're, it's a tight window. A minute. I'll come back. Just a minute. <clears throat> come on, Caleb. Herg. Let's go gather these supplies that the Rebel Alliance has been gracious enough to bestow upon us. Okay. What does he have on you? He doesn't have anything on me, Io. I 
Io and What'd you see in the mist? You saw family, right? I saw a lie. It was a lie. I didn't. I have great timing. I saw every member of this crew dead on the ground with a blaster in my hand, except for you. And I think that you were on your feet still because I just hadn't shot that bullet yet. Puff is alive. Io. Papa's alive and out there with Emrys. And I didn't tell you because I let people down. It's kind of my thing. and for sheep, you came back. And then you stayed a day. And another day. And another day. And another day after that. I came back because Randall wanted an Alliance operative inside your team. And I stayed because you're worth it. I stayed because you're my friend. Had to get rid of what? The lightsaber? Do you remember Virgo? I do, the with the nice shoes, yeah. <laughs> Stage, she didn't come out. Yeah, I was, figured it was a personal boundary thing. What are you telling me, Io? I pressed him, but... What happened? Of what happened to her happening to you? What did you do? Kept you 
this way. Get this for a sec. Ayo. Are you doing it, Tell me? Is that why Rue's here? I haven't noticed. No. No, I'm not. I don't think there's anyone left to tell. Your benefactor? Gone. It's just you and me, Io. What did you do? I am. I'm safe. I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm safe. And I want to help. On the condition that you pull it together a little bit because I need you to. It's really expensive bread. Go find your robot friend and shoot him a lot. And then we'll go find Papa and Emrys and shoot who needs to be shot there. And I won't run. Am I scarred? Like I said when I picked you up, you're as beautiful as the day I met you. Don't lie. Don't lie. Am I scared? No. <laughs> I 
know, come lie down somewhere comfortable. I can't believe Herg just set you in a storage room. <laughs> Blanket. Walk. So we're going to cut to outside of the town. You yes. guys have retrieved these supplies that yes. have been given to you. It's like rations and power supplies and ammo uh, containers and the like uh, that have been loaded into both ships. Right. Um, you notice that um, there is a uh, fire spray attack um, ship in the hangar. This is uh, like Boba Fett's ship, Slave One. Right. Um, it's in the hangar and uh, Commander um, uh, Kurumu is kind of dictating as more supplies come in. Uh, a handful of uh, the soldiers that you see um, start kind of, uh, the visors go back, they oh. start taking off equipment and giving it to others um, as a handful um, start boarding the ship. Mm -hmm. um, as they all get ready to embark on this next mission uh, and head out, uh, they look over at you, kind of nods, starts to walk over. Um, is, <clears throat> sounds like uh, you've talked to your herd friend, and it seems like we are ready to embark, and it looks like you have supplies. Um, I've sent some debriefing information to uh, the data pad information that I'm filed. It seems like Randall would send you. Uh, please review it, uh, extensive information. Uh, this is an operation that I would like to um, have everyone come back. We'd all like that, Commander Koramu. Let's see if we can make it so. Indeed. Um, I leave you to your ships. Uh, the flight coordinates are in there. As I said, we will be going to uh, um, Tula. Uh, uh, we'll discuss uh, how we best proceed when we arrive. Please, again, uh, rest, read over the material, and I'll see you there. We'll rendezvous with you there. He heads back to his ship and walks inside. You see that uh, the Keldor uh, Hazo also uh, is in the ship and he's kind of waving to you guys as he enters uh, the fire spray. Um, and Wait, uh, he's going with them? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, the Keldor boy is coming on this mission. Like I said, hopefully everyone makes it out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> no emotional chips to cash in uh, on this. Uh, uh, and as you kind of prep, get aboard your ships, um, prepare to see what the future holds and what mm -hmm. will unfold as you go back after CC7OB. With that, we end today. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I did a little Dang. funky stuff. Some intense it's really stuff. Good there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my like goodness. I said, it could end at any time. Yeah. In this case, I with two minutes and 20 seconds hey. left. Uh, with that, if that number's right, uh, we ended tier three light side. Oh. Yeah. We're getting into it. Oh, oh man. Man. Yeah. 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 I'm going to turn the of these men. stuff in my brain. Uh, man, yeah. Uh, part of me wanted the aqua thing. Yeah. But yes. like another part of me somewhere wanted a turret. <laughs> I don't know. I really Wonder wanted. Why. I, I mean, wanted the aqua turret thing was a pretty turret. cool. Yeah. I have yeah, to. That was pretty cool. Wait, but the turret's I, cool too. I don't know why, but I feel like that's cool. Oh, oh, oh. that you? That was, <laughs> that was you the whole time because I was like, oh, yeah. I'm not gonna look up. I can't look. Okay. Thank you. That was. Um, wait, can yeah. our ships not go in water? I mean, they can't go underwater. There's one way to find that. <laughs> um, they could go in space, but they can't go in water. Is that what that thing was? Like, so that yeah, the ship could go in the water? Go yeah, under, like it's a, it turns it into a submarine. Yeah. Does the Indomitable have, have like plushies? Mm. It does. Okay. It's Aaron Battleship. I'm sure there's lots of plushies. I'm sure there's plushies. Uh, we're going to do this. 
It's made from scarves. I'm trying to think. Like 17 scarves. I feel like I have not roll once the entire game. Yeah, we do. We're gonna do a post credit scene. Automatically take them all. Post credits going to Io. I'm trying to figure out something here that would make sense. Skullduggery, I feel like, was the main. You know, you all use Skullduggery. Um, I dug I'm gonna, really hard. I'm gonna do this because, mm -hmm. uh, uh, look, Kim and Io has charmed her way into all of our hearts. I'm gonna have you do a charm shot. I was gonna be like, can I do charm? Because I, this stuff in my story, okay. Please do a charm roll. Okay, so my roll in the... It's gonna the... be uh, whatever your charm skill is. Okay. It's yeah, gonna be use four all those. purple dice. Four purple dice, let me add those first. Uh, those presents, presents, okay. Uh, oh, I upped that. And I could and you have, yeah. throw the lot in you there? You might as well. This yeah. is it, post credit scene. Last one. Okay. Two That's abilities, two, two abilities, proficiencies. Two proficiencies. Two proficiencies. What is she, what is she rolling? And I'm rolling. Five successes, one disadvantage. Mm. Mm. Okay. Five successes. Okay. Five successes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's like minimal disadvantage. Your... Char mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I think this plays. And we already did this on one of your other things, which I think was <laughs> stealth. Uh, your charm is permanently increased by one. Okay. Mm. Uh, but you will always add a disadvantage to any time you roll it. Okay. Uh, so do I get rank? You get a full that? rank what? in it. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a yellow You're dice. That's pretty. Down. That's pretty baller. Yeah. But. Uh, you know, you just get, you have to add it at disadvantage to whatever cool. you roll. You could roll advantages and it cancels out, but. Got it. Uh, mm. And with that, thank you, uh, we end. Wow. Uh, it was, it was a, it was one. If this is the first time you tuned in, uh, Welcome stuff to didn't, yeah, didn't quite make a, sense. This is it's, a, this was spent, a deep one. We spent a lot of time too. with these characters. Heavy. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. There's a lot going on, <coughs> but. Uh, good. <laughs> it's really good one. We'll, we'll have some, we had, if you really want, Here's, here's, this is how I'm gonna spend this one. I'm gonna, you guys are ready for this, you're ready for this. I'm so if ready. If you want a little bit more history on this episode, you're wondering, I don't understand. Yeah. How yeah. do maybe two of these characters meet? Go watch Ooh, yeah. oh. last episode, mm -hmm. episode, uh, episode 11. It was yeah, a flashback, flashback. episode. <laughs> you can see how both Kilar and Io met, and it's pretty comical. It is. So if you need a good, if you need a good pick me up after in this, this one, episode, so you can get the full, the full <laughs> the taste full of the pencils and parsing experience. Uh, shit does get deep. With that, <clears throat> uh, we did the post credit scene. Yeah. We did tier three. Couple, couple wrap ups that we always do. First off. Thank you everybody so much. Yeah. I'm so excited for 2018 and uh, new time slot Wednesday yeah, at eight. Right. Time so time if you're watching this on YouTube because you didn't know and you goofed mm -hmm. and you're seeing this now next week on Wednesday on because Wednesday you'll know. Now. Yeah. Uh, Wednesdays at eight. Be sure to tell your friends. Uh, I'm so thankful for this and this new year. I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, be sure to jump in the Reddit. This one will have some stuff. Please do. I feel like it. we can get back to our like 300 Reddit comments with this one. Yeah. This we'll to back here. Two threads going these past like, I know, two and I know. Yeah. But yeah. This, there was a, there's a lot to discuss. There's, there's a lot to discuss for this. Dropping stuff. So if you're new to the show yeah. and you stuck all the way through <laughs> and you're like, man, I really want to like talk about more crazy stuff. Oh, you're talking about dropping stuff. <laughs> dropping we're uh, we're very active there. Uh, again, I can't stress it enough. Thank you, everybody, for uh, the dice pools that Bring you do. Everything. Um, thank you, Bert. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bert. Yeah, thank you uh, for making but quite up. Quite literally, <laughs> it's 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 supporting no, Kim used the show. No, Kim I don't think it's okay. a it allows us okay. to do what we're doing. If you bad. like this, check out everything else here yeah. at Hyper. Yeah. We literally yep. couldn't <laughs> do it without that support. Uh, in addition to, I don't think uh, you understand how difficult you guys' lives would actually be without this. Yeah, because uh, we wouldn't survive without yeah, the you dice be, you give us. You be gone. So um, thank yeah. you, because you see what happens to the NPCs that don't have our dice, <laughs> or so, the PCs yeah. that don't have dice, yeah. <laughs> or that too, yep. or that. Yeah. So I think that's it. Reddit. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, be sure to tune in. What's coming up tomorrow, Matt? Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's the beginning. Woo! And we got the gauntlet. Woo! <laughs> no longer on Twitch, we have a YouTube exclusive which will be uploaded on Friday. So Perfect. Don't forget! Woo! Don't forget! Tell your friends! Guys, thank you so much. Uh, it has been a day. First Doki Doki Literature Club. 
which uh, is dark. Holy shit! And then this this has been a day. I'm ready for bed, y'all. Um, <laughs> let, they, dude, that was amazing. Are you, are you good? I'm good. Oh, I was like no joke for the like the past like two and a half weeks. I was really looking forward to this and dreading the shit out of it too because I knew I was gonna have to go to a place. <laughs> oh, you're like Merry uh, Christmas. And I went to a place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, have, we have fun here. Yay! Yay! We'll shoot things next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe uh, we'll see. With know. our emotions. Well, I'm just, I'm just like, you guys didn't talk about shit. You're on the planet and it's a firefight. Go! <laughs> We're going to strafe you with our feelings. So many feelings. Guys, thank you so much for your contribution. Once again, it goes to help us, help the channel. We are a small uh, crew here. This is a crowdfunded channel. So yep. thank you for all your contributions. Yep. It helps keep the lights on. Literally. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. It really goes a long way. Thank you. Thank, thank you. And to the new viewers, welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you guys. So many of you guys. Uh, but we, we have some uh, some things to get through. Those mm-hmm, viewers, mm-hmm, some great contributions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's get through them, y'all. Let's mm-hmm, do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, from Cookie uh, Cougar HXOXO. I uh, <laughs> think we can use some back to right now. Hashtag boost. Mr. Owl. Hashtag ability. The end alien. There's a lot of boost back today. Back Not too much in that to. dark pool today. Uh, Mr. Owl, uh, there was a bunch in the dark pool in the second round. In the second round. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Uh, DN Alien, Cybertech Eye People, for a badass assassin lady, could it be more awesome? Uh, hashtag Dark, hashtag Dark Side. Although in my heart, I root for the good guys, of course. Uh, Mr. Owl, Setback, Too Many Feels, Boost. Uh, Urquag, uh, hashtag Setback, hashtag Dark. Small Fry, 417, Setback, because we could use a nice Cyber Eye for IO. Ooh, why why time, does everybody because... think I'm going to use a Cyber Eye? <laughs> you don't know how I'm going to react to that. You don't know how I'm going to react to that. If you want to know how IO is going to react, Tune, Tune in, in next, next week. week. Yeah. Where we spend an hour talking about the morality of cybernetic parts. <laughs> <laughs> Promethean works. Uh, I'm a light sider, but I think our dear Io needs a cybernetic Why eye. Why does everybody think of may a cybernetic eye? She may, although she may not want or be ready for it yet. Let's go dark side tier three. Uh, heard to say all of this. Hashtag dark, hashtag boost. I was like, you know, at least give her the option. You know, you don't have to use it, right? Yeah. I feel like, That's true. Know. Or you can just hang it from the dash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like dice. Cookie <laughs> RXOXO, some hugs and a little boost to our favorite assassin. Be an alien, has a difficulty dark, dark side. Get that cybernetic eye! I hope she wants it. Johnny <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rage Cage, hashtag difficulty. Too many feels. Step back. Totally just check if, if the meter is busted. Not like I'm um, hashtag dark or anything. Hey, Whoa, thank you so much. That was great. Yeah, wow. That's where all the setbacks mm-hmm. came That's from. That's where it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Too many Noise. feels. <laughs> uh, Rabbit Wombat442, hashtag dark, hashtag difficulty. Game of Joe B. There is an opening on the Cruise Pokemon team. Off to Craig to catch an Alolan Vulpix. That would have been great! Critter, uh, because... That would be Great. Uh, super lot. Ability. Uh, looking forward to a great year with PNP. Heart. Thank you. Uh, DM Alien. Uh, boost. Light side. Shadow Uzumaki. First, <laughs> first ever donation to PNP. Yay! Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Uzumaki's been really active too uh, in the Discord and has also been commenting on Reddit. So yeah. thank you awesome. for joining us. I'm so glad you do too. Yeah. Yeah. The person yeah. that yeah. bought Edge of the Empire? Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 Uh, he said, uh, first time ever to TMP, hashtag light, like Luke before me. Let's get to, let's get to two proficiency die. Nice to see you all live. Hi, Captain. Hi, Hector. Oh. Uh, Dean Alien, hashtag ability, hashtag light side. Let's go to crate, y'all. Sorry, bud. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dean Alien, hashtag difficulty, <laughs> hashtag difficulty. Hold up the cold. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Kel- Kelthoranthian, there we go. Need some ability for when Io gets up. Super lot, mm-hmm. hashtag ability. Quick grab that, quick grab that yellow patient. Uh, who doesn't want a submarine? Oh, uh, grill paint. Yellow paint. Yeah, yeah that's uh, good. Yellow submarine. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Uh, super lot. Patrick Rafferty <laughs> and Shadow Luzumaki. One more time. Thank you so much, yep. man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get the hashtag light yeah. side ability props to camp for not breaking character. True. Yeah, dang. Yeah, hey, that's mm-hmm. it. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you so Yay! much. Yay! Amazing. Uh, tune in next week. There's a lot of stories we're gonna find out. Uh, really excited. Spread the word. 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 Sp